proud to be sponsored by Game of Silks. Go to silks.io to get in the game. Real ownership, real races, real rewards. All right, welcome into another Thursday night in the cocktail lounge. I'm going solo a little bit early here until Ombre can join us. I I guess he partied a little bit, maybe too hard for his birthday, but uh, we'll cut him in a little slack. It is his birthday week, so he'll be joining us shortly. Uh, Sean's under the weather this week, and uh, he's not going to be able to join us live, uh, but uh, he is. Uh, will be joining us in the chat, so uh, we'll, we'll still get his uh, insight tonight. Uh, we just won't get to see his lovely face on camera, but... All right, who we got in so far? I know Bobby D and Caesar were in like 15 minutes before we even kicked it off here. I saw them in there like ready to go and make some money, and I'm with you guys. Rodney's joining us right at the wire. How you doing, my friend? Kevin's here. Todd is in as usual. All right, all the usuals. Looks like uh, we've uh, got 21 on board so far. Grandma joining us. Tony checking in it looks like a little short tonight on the races uh they did an eight race card tonight i know we've been uh, most of the weeks we've been on they've had a nine race card and uh, uh th this night it looks like it's going to be just eight we've even had a couple of 10 race cards so i am all ready there's sean checking in sean is checking in uh, from the house He's ready to uh, win some money here, and I'm, I'm sure he's got some insight he can provide as always. So glad to see you're in the chat, Sean, and I hope you're feeling a little bit better today. So how's everybody doing? How's your week, Ben? I will tell you, uh, if you remember last week, uh, I, I joined the chat for the uh, the cocktail lounge for the last race and was able to jump on but uh, my last week this is my worst week of the year at work as far as uh, hours I got to work we have a service project we do with our kids and we have the regional basketball tournament that we sponsor so our kids get out there and and park all the cars that come in it's actually a madhouse and uh, we had some late nights uh, we're there all day for four days but we have a day off tomorrow so I am ready to Im Bet a few races and more importantly, imbibe in the cocktails in the lounge. It's been a rough couple of weeks. How's everybody else's week been? I know we've had a with the profits, we've had a few people that uh, seem to have been under the weather a little bit this week. So let's see if we can win some money. So where are we at here? Let me check in uh, with the track here real quick. Uh, I think they're already on the track. It looks like we've got five minutes to race one. Anybody uh, have any opinions before I share mine? You want to drop in the chat and I'll go ahead and talk. Benny, welcome in, bud. So when I was looking at the first race, uh, I, I really like this 10 horse here. So uh, King of Kentucky, uh, I, I don't like the post so much, but I think this horse is going to try to go for the lead. I, I'm going to throw that last race out for this horse. That was an allowance race and obviously a huge step up for this horse. So back down to where he belongs, 7,500 claimer, uh, keeps Jimenez on board. If he runs that race that he ran two back, he wins this race, I think, for fun. So I've got the 10 on top. Uh, then I'm going to head inside a little bit for my second uh, pick here of the night, and that is Neo King, the three horse. Um, looking at this horse, uh, a rider we we don't see get a whole lot of rides here, but if you look, has been consistently on this horse, uh, even uh, as the horse traveled from Indianapolis and then uh, – um, so it made its way eventually to turf way. Uh, these last two races on the synth haven't been horrible. And what I do like is while that last race doesn't look like a whole lot, still uh, hit the board and got a nice third place check there. But uh, two races back, the horse uh, won the race with a 62 speed figure at odds of 15 to one. So I, I like that. And I want to watch this horse on the track. If you see the comments on the three horse there, they say he was antsy in the gate. So I want to see what he looks like on the track tonight. And if he looks like he wants to run, maybe he's live and we can get him in. He's currently eight to one. So we'll see what we can get there. And after the 10 and the three, I went all the way to the inside uh, for the one horse howl. This is a horse that I would like a little bit more, but I'm not honestly crazy uh, about the connections here. Um, 
on paper, the races look okay. Speed figures two back in that race, although the the horse uh, uh, wasn't able to to hang on to the lead there. That was still a, a really fast race and uh, finished with a 67 speed figure in that race. Uh, again, this is another horse that uh, if he runs that race, then uh, he's probably going to be right there in the end. But uh, I, I'm going to play this horse to uh, potentially go out and uh, maybe drop a little bit. I, I like that the 10 horse is also going to want to get to the lead. So I think if anything, uh, Jimenez is probably going to let this one go a little bit and set just outside him and hope to make a pounce. So uh, my choice here was 10, 3, and 1. Let me take a look at what everybody's saying here. Let's see what we've got. Uh, no picks. Rodney's going to wait around to race three. That's uh, always a good strategy. See how the track is playing. Nothing wrong with that. I will tell you that uh, if, if you know how we typically do it here in the lounge, we, uh, we go easy in the first race, ease into it a little bit and, see how the track is playing and what's going on. So I'm uh, updating our ticker here with our date and our bankroll and everything. Make sure we're all good to go for the first race. And there we go. Do a little housekeeping here. And there we have it. $100 bankroll. Let's triple that up. What do you say? I'm in. Mm -hmm. Caesar's also running some errands. Be in with us later. Let me give a quick check at the track here. Looks like they're circling a little bit in front of the gate. Still shows two minutes. I want to try to get a look at this three horse. Currently eight to one still. And the favoritism now is going to the two, which is a horse that... Uh, I didn't even mention a whole lot, and I, I do like the looks of the three on the track. He looks like he's got some energy on his toes behind the two. Looks much better than the two if you compare those two horses to me, the way, the way they both look. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do, guys. We're going to play against the favorite here in, in the first race and see if we can catch a price. We're going to uh, play a, a $6 wager, and I'm going to play a $1 exact a box, 1, 3, and 10. A $1 exact a box, 1, 3, and 10. See if we can get a, a little hit to start us off. And as we warm up a little bit, haven't even had a drink of my first beer yet. I am ready for that once we get these horses going. So again, that's a one dollar exacta box, one three ten. Kevin's pretty close. He does like that favorite a little bit more than I do, and I, I looked at that horse a few times. I, uh, I I I see it. I really do. But uh, the big thing for me was uh, that the trainer on that one. Uh, uh, this horse has definitely been passed around by by trainers. If you look, he's got a he uh, got a previously trained, which means that he changed trainers. Then he had a claim, so another uh, trainer change, and now he's got another trainer on top of that. So Blair Jordan is uh, now the trainer on that one. Only won two of seventeen races at twelve percent. So I'm I'm gonna fade him a little bit. Ombre, I bet a $1 exacta box, one, three, and 10. Just a little, nice little $6 wager to ease into it in the first race here. See if we can see how we are. A little heat check. And they're off. So that was a way quick. And just like we thought, that 10 from the outside is going to go to the lead. The six, though, up the middle, ain't no band leader, is going to actually move in front of the 10 and take the lead. The one who is another horse we talked about being speed is on the rail uh, back and forth now as just to the outside of all of them. That looks like the eight horse that is now taking over third just outside the, the 10 horse. Our three Neo King that we like there is also in a good stalking position on the rail behind those three leaders. But up front, it still ain't no band leader as they hit the quarter in 2304. 
the six horses now being challenged by the 10 in between horses and the eight enjoyment outside those that three is still uh, in great position and now decides to uh, tip out a little bit as they hit the top of the stretch after a half and 46 and three that six is still holding on a little bit the eight is coming to get them up on the inside that's the two Bolshoi is going to try to split horses and come on after them Six is still holding on, but the two's got a whole lot of run. Our ten, three horse is uh, going to come with a little run late, but that was two, six, eight, and three. So I wasn't even close. Sean, where are you? <laughs> so the two was everything that uh, that he was supposed to be. That's okay. One for fun. Although I, I think they might take a look a little bit the way that two is split in between the six and eight because the eight seems like he took back a little bit. And I'm not exactly sure if there was anything there, but uh, kind of looked a little strange uh, on, on first, first glance as I was just kind of looking up front and saw something in my peripheral there. Mm. Yeah, so uh, I I checked in for a couple of races last night. I didn't play a lot, but I did look at a couple of races. Rodney uh, it did look like speed was holding a little better. That that six was able to hold on for quite a while there, but uh, that that two horse was back a little bit. So he wasn't even one of the horses I was calling when I was talking about the first five or six horses there. So he he came from the back and he definitely got the rail trip. He, uh, he took the rail at the top of the stretch and then split those two horses from the inside moving out to move around the six. But, uh, uh, we'll, we'll definitely keep an eye on that. And I, I totally agree. I'm, I'm sure they're getting ready for the big race. That is their biggest race of the year. The Jeff Ruby's. We will see how it plays. Watch watch a couple of races here, as many of you said you're going to do anyway, and wait till about the third race to to jump on the, the wagering train there. But uh, we went easy, little six dollar wager, no big loss. We'll get right back at it. Doesn't take much to recover from that. You guys know we say it every week at Turfway. It only takes one. We hit one race. We're probably up for the night. Keith. Good to see you, bud. If you guys haven't checked out Keith's uh, video for Oakland for this Saturday, make sure you go check that out. He's got the Wolf of Oakland on with him. And between those two, the, those two and that brain trust, I'm sure we got some value picks for this Saturday. So what is going on? We got a little bit of time so we don't have to talk horses and talk second race so fast. You guys would tell me what is up. I was out last week, didn't get to talk to a lot of you. and. I've had a, a crazy couple of weeks and I am ready for a couple of these. It, it will, Kevin, that, that exact will be pretty decent. So the, the six, I think, let me take a look again. The six was 32 to one and held that lead for so long. But that three, uh, that three did show again. And, and if, if you, uh, What's up, Tim? The, as we talked about the post parade and that comment from when he won a couple of back at pretty good odds, it said that he uh, kind of was anxious a little bit and he kind of looked that way a little bit. So that, that's one I might put in my stable and keep an eye on because uh, that, that horse uh, ran okay at this level. What's going on, folks? Tim, I, I caught the first race. I noticed uh, no win, but I saw the low risk. Good call on that. Yeah, it's 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 been a rocky road the first couple of races every week, which we've learned. And uh, absolutely, well played. You got to see what's going on a little bit. See who. I got to be honest, man. This meet so far at Turfway, dude, is like so jockey centric that it's crazy. It I'm is. a big jockey player a lot of times anyway, but it has been like absurdly jockey centric because it was Luan Machado the first. I don't know, 80% of the meat. And then all of a sudden, lately you've seen it with a couple others. I mean, who was it the last couple of weeks? You were out Adam, last week. Adam, uh, Adam Biscitza, remember, hit, Adam he Biscitza. hit that heater. Yeah, and he's doing it on bombs. And then we've had um, we've had uh, my boy Fernando de la Cruz has had his moments. Right. Abel, mm. yep, it's been a yeah. very jockey-centric. So I don't know who won the first race jockey-wise, but 
that's definitely something to keep your eye on at Turfway. It's been, and listen, man, I know that it's like uh, a jockey is only as good as a horse he's on and vice versa, but. Right. But, but dude, it, it makes is, a difference. It's really streaky. And, and at some tracks, it seems like even more. You know, the thing that's surprised me the most is obviously Luan wasn't going to keep up that pace all, all year long. But but the thing is, I mean, it's like he went from red hot to ice cold. I mean, there's no in between. He's, he, his horses just oh, yeah. don't seem to be doing well at all lately. And that uh, that was Gabe Corrales that won the first. Jerry Corrales? Yes. I call him Jerry. You know, I'm on a very personal level with all these jockeys. <laughs> Jerry Corrales. G-Man. G-Unit. <laughs> Axe Man. Hell yeah. So, yeah, man, we got 54 people in already. What's up, Keith? Kevin Plouchup, Kevin Phillips. Alex in the house. Cincy Radiohead, one of my favorite names. Santa Cruz representing. So, Ombre, the people want to know, do you have a good birthday? Yeah, it was a it was a mixed bag, man. I got a lot going on personally. Uh, got some issues in the fam. I don't want sure. to talk about it, but always, it's, uh, no, always. Uh, that's been kind of an up and down. Yeah, always, just personal shit. But uh, you know, making the best of it. Another year older. The birthdays aren't as fun as they used to be. That's for sure. No, you know, it's tough be being like twenty five years. To get old to a point, long. pick a birthday, and say, okay, from here, I'm just going to count them backwards. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I, I'll Just put it this number. way: if you're, Just if you, if the people are wondering at home, I've, uh, I probably worked my way around to the back nine now. I think I'm playing the back <laughs> back nine from here. Playing the back nine. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you're talking uh, average, whatever average uh, human lifespan, I'm probably playing the back, back nine from here. But the good news is, man, other than almost dying last year from the pneumonia thing, I feel pretty good, man. I feel pretty young, and yeah, you know relatively healthy I, actually, so can't complain yeah i actually i had my uh my annual checkup with my doctor yesterday so you know nothing going on i said the same thing i feel pretty darn good and try to stay healthy and they did all my blood work and everything looks good and you know so that's that's always good to get that checkup and, and get the thumbs up that all your all, all your blood work is positive and nothing to worry about so see you in a year we want that play-by-play -play of what exactly the doctor did with you you know with the uh <laughs> little rubber glove and all that stuff, but I'm kidding. Absolutely. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. 60 people in the lounge, baby. Hey, by the way, I put a big invite out to the game of silks brass tonight because listen, man, season two has kicked off and I'm not bullshitting you guys. It's exciting, dude. We have minted a couple of horses. First time in profits history. We'll get into it a little bit more. We got a couple, uh, young children in the trust of profits stable in the barn that it's real money you know listen man real ownership real races real rewards as it says in the in the plate at the bottom here but it really is man so we have a it couple is. horses you don't and it's cool because they're so young we don't know what they are yet we're sitting right. there we're having jessica talk well take a look at the the pedigree and the uh you know the lineage going back and seeing what we think we have and, uh, exactly. Yeah. And and the two horses we have so far, they're not even named yet. So they're they're both Kentucky breads, which we like. And uh, we'll, we'll be sharing some more as we go along. We got a couple more we're going to pick up here shortly, we hope. Uh, at least one more minting and then try to pick up some others here. So if you're interested in something like this, shoot us a message and let us know. Right now, we've kind of locked up what we were going to start with, but it's always good to know what kind of interest is out there. And maybe we can try to do something and get some more people involved. Hell yeah. Yeah. And, and they are a partner with us. So, you know, it's honestly, it's a part of the reason why we're talking about them a lot lately, but I'm Tim and I were like children uh, opening presents on Christmas morning the other day when we're trying to mint and trying to get the money situation. Tim had a little struggle getting the, uh, cause there is, a, it's a, it's a little bit involved to get the uh, initial process underway, but with the help of uh, the discord community, we got there. And we've, yes. we've minted the horses, and it's uh, yeah, it was Christmas morning, a lot of excitement going on, and we don't really, honestly, we don't know what we have other than pedigree, and pedigree is important for sure, but it's not everything. So we will see, we'll see how it goes. Colin is like a crackhead in an alleyway behind <laughs> a uh, dumpster fire of a, you know, whatever alley behind the worst 
cesspool of a city ghetto you've ever seen snorting heroin off of a urinal. He's so addicted to this stuff. It's incredible. Yes. He's got like 30 or 40 horses already, the guy. Yeah, if you go if you go back on the channel and look at at New Year's Eve, Colin and I make actually made a video, and I mean we made a video like 15 minutes before midnight as Colin minted his first two horses, and now he's got a stable of like 30. <laughs> yeah, he can't stop. So beware of that. The addiction is real. We have uh, Tim and I have a piece of two horses now, and I bet you uh, I will say by the end of March, maybe five something like that because we are looking on the open market you can buy and sell horses on the open market similar right. to the old uh the ebay life you know there's an open market for the horses you can buy and sell and the horse is worth whatever somebody will pay for it so absolutely anyhow what are we doing here we lost yeah we got the uh, bankroll updated I, I did update it yes sean patrick nolan ill carson ill i was ill it's been a rough week for the profits tim said i heard him say it earlier he's had the Busiest uh, week or two in his, of his whole year, school-wise. It's been a treacherous go, but we appreciate everybody checking in. And we're here. We're going to power through this thing. And it's a down week for the Derby preps. 90 people on. You love to see it. Last week, this thing kept ramping up. And it, we had such a big uh, run from Twitter that we were up to almost 1,000 people at one point on here. So... Yes. Hit the likes and retweets and uh, subscribes and all that stuff. Well, it won't yeah. happen this week because it's uh, because I'm on and you know we we only got that viewership because I wasn't here. So. Well, yeah, that's true. It's true. A lot of people dislike Tim, so we got, we got to work around that and try to try to build the um. It's like a separate group altogether. Thank you, Armando. Armando, thank. That's very kind, man. We're out Absolutely. here trying to make some money as a group and uh, see what we can do. But you know, the funny thing is, hombre, I mean, we, we think all these guys are the best. And guys like Armando, they're here every week. And, yeah, you know, they, they take their it. time out of their own days to come in here and spend the time with us. And we appreciate it. It's just, you know, it's a community. And I, I love it. Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know, a few months ago, it seemed like there was about 30 regulars. Now it feels like there's like 50 to 80 regulars. And then there's, you know, it's growing right. each week. So, and I know the Game of Silks community is involved too now. So. Yeah, Maddie, uh, we don't talk about the OnlyFans. Uh, that, that's my other video channel, Maddie. You're going to have to check in with that one. Yeah, and that's uh, behind a paywall. You got to <laughs> you gotta invest if you want to see what's going on there, and it's wild. All right, race two. I haven't even looked as much. Uh, the formula's slacking on getting us picks. I've got them. I always like to consider that his picks along with a little self cap. I did a quick self cap today. It's been hell on earth today with work and everything, but it will be my race this time. Right. And I think yes, it's just going to be us on the, on the stream tonight all night, unless the formula joins. I think so. Because I know that uh, Carson's not feeling up to it. And I said, don't get well, Carson, get well. Don't even force yourself, dude. I'll be on here by myself. Absolutely. I know Tim would too. Sean, Yep. Sean's been on like 95% of these things. He can take a day off. It's fine. Uh, let's see. What's up, Trish? Let me pull up the live feed. I got. First of all, Tim, I guess. Uh, I'm, I don't know how much time. How much time do we have to post? I've, I was just I'm checking in here it. one second. It looks like we've still got 15 minutes to race to. Put it in the chat. Who do you guys like? I've got some ideas already, but I want to. I want to see who's scratched. I, that's the only thing I'm not up to speed on is the scratches. No, none, the none in this race. Was like three hours ago, none. Yeah, we we do have a few later on, but none in this race. And by the way, the standard that we're setting tonight is. I heard you say it, Tim, and I agree. It's the triple up the mango. We want to end around 300. If it goes bigger, good. If anything less than that is a complete and utter failure. That's it. And uh, let's do it as a team, folks. All right. Amanda likes the eight and the one. Interesting. Tim, dig me up here. Give me your top. I mean, how deep? Do, first of all, how deep do you think you have to go for like a exact or a try box, key box? Do you think there's a single on top? What are we doing? I, I've got a horse I like a lot on top. And and I'm I'm a little surprised right now as as I look at the board and I check in and, and my horse is where he is right now. So 
I I like um, uh, just Armando just posted he likes eight and one. I'm on the eight as well. I like Sailor's Chance in here, and uh, you you get Terraza on board with a, a five pound weight allowance. If you look at that last race at this level, that was a mile and a sixteenth, and the horse closed up well, sixty one speed figure. So now is going to cut back in distance a little bit to the mile. So going to have to get moving a, a little bit sooner. But that speed figure uh, for the rest of this field uh, definitely uh, puts the horse up there uh, uh, with the best in the race. And right now, I, the horse has floated up from a three to one morning line to six to one currently. So not exactly sure why that's going on. But uh, the next horse I like is also at a price. And this is uh, our friend Saez uh, getting up on uh, Mr. Cunningham again. He's ridden him two straight times. He's thrown back-to-back uh, -back 60 speed figures as well. Uh, I, I like that. Uh, he, he's got three solid seconds at the distance, and uh, I, I think this horse is about ready to break through. So he, I think he, this is the speed of the race, if you ask me. I think six is going to definitely go out there and probably uh, show the speed. And I'm hoping, as uh, we were talking about a little bit there, that speed seems to be holding pretty well, like the that uh, long shot in the last race. He, he lost first to a, a much better horse, but for him to have the speed and hold on, I think, I think it was because of that. I think it was because of the speed. So I really like the six underneath here. So those two for me. And then underneath that, I, I've kind of got the two and the one uh, pretty much together. I would, I would put the two on top of the one. If you uh, put a gun to my head, it's our boy De La Cruz. Can't go wrong with that. But uh, so I'm eight, six, two, one. Spin checking in the chat. He's got four, eight, two, one for the kids scoring at home. And I saw a piece of chat a second ago that I fully agree with. Fernando de la Cruz, folks. Um, no, not. I just had to play that because we got the we got the audio up with the uh, clip this week. Hundred people online. It's growing again this week, folks. Let's get this thing trending like it was last week. Uh, let's see. What the hell was that? That was my dog. <laughs> it sounded like it was right into the microphone. You love to see it. <laughs> She's <laughs> under my feet. She's under my feet under the desk. It sounded ferocious. <laughs> She's all talk. De La Cruz is on that deuce. I noticed you and Sean both had the deuce underneath. I think the deuce is definitely uh, at six to one. A good, a good play. Good play here. Uh, Caitlin likes the three on top. That always gives Trish a little confidence, she says. Benny Betts has the three involved. I don't see it with the three. Talk to me, folks. Yeah, I, I, I saw the people the talking three. moon mischief, and I, I know that. Is uh, that going to be the pace here, the three? I, let me look again. I, I don't think so. I mean, I, I think the horse wants to be just off the pace. I, don't, I will I don't say, see any Malibot's I mean, on they're the eight. early. Malathot, Tim, and Spin all of the eight in the top two. I don't have love, the eight, love the eye, eight. But, but I'm definitely, definitely eight is going to be underneath. This, but, well, he's the favorite right now. But look at this is one of those balanced races. You love to see it. Seven to two favorite, which basically means no matter how you cut an exacto, it's going to be good payout wise if you hit it. And that's always weird because, like I say, he floated from three to one to six to one. Other horses were taking big money, and all of a sudden he's a favorite. And I thought he should be all along. I got to tell you, folks, if I'm keying a horse on top, though, I'm bouncing between the the six whose spin has nowhere on the board. I like the six a lot. I think I like the six more than you guys do, and I like the one more than you guys do. Uh, so I'm really... You know, really I, I, I like the one on, on paper, Ombre. I'll tell you what I saw and, and just, just quickly is, uh, you know... Claim two races back. I, I don't like the fact that he's going to the Melton Barn. Chris, I mean, he's only had two. Yes, he's won one of the two, and and but I, I'm not I just, one of the worst rated trainers. Yeah, I, I, I need to offense. I need to see a little more in this barn because his first race out in this barn, that was not a great race. And I think I think I'm gonna do something that I normally don't do much of. But I think I'm gonna box four horses. Hit me. 
Are we ready? It's going to be one, two, six, and eight, but I'm just trying to decide whether to, because I don't, I don't like, I, I kind of feel like they're all kind of in the same um, grouping and they're, I don't like any of them much more than the other. I, it does feel I agree. Like they're kind of, they're kind of uh, the cream of the crop here, I guess. And we got eight minutes to post. Talk me into it or talk me out of it, but. Well, there, there's some support right there. Equin Edge, the so, their software has 2681. So there's our four horses. Yeah, Different order, cool. and that's what everybody everybody seems to, to be key in on those horses. We've had a couple other mentions, but those are the primary ones we're seeing everyone use. In I mean, if I look at, if so I look at trying to key split. something, right? you have the eight. I saw Malathot like the eight. Mike Witten just posted the eight. But Spin likes the four as the key horse. I don't even like the four at all. Uh I mean, to me, it's a very balanced race, so everybody's in, in, right. Involved and and in the, the thing that I noticed uh, when you looked at uh, Caitlin and Scott's picks is they both had both had the eight as well in different places, but they both had the eight second, the eight fourth, second one and third for the fourth. other. And by the way, I, I like to uh, to me the safest play. Uh, I don't hear a whole lot of support from the from the uh, chat or from you, Tim, is the six. Six feels like the safest if you were going to key box a horse. I, I like it because of the price. And I told you, I, I really like the six horse. I think the six is going to be the speed. And I think the six is getting a piece of the board. It depends on how well the speed holds. Do you want to, maybe maybe we trifecta. Maybe maybe this is one of those races where a tri key box is even safer than an exact key box. because you could. Come I, I like it. Yeah. And, and you know, the, the, uh, just a, a quick note. I was looking at the double wheel pays real quick. The eight is like the favorite by, by more than half of the next mm -hmm. horse, which is the, so the two. Money's and, come. and then guess, guess who's third in the doubles, the six. He's who's not second? third. He's not third on the board, but who's second. The two, uh, the, the two horse. Check in from home, folks. Welcome aboard. Dr. Jude five eighteen. I think that's a new name. Welcome in angel. James. I think has been in the chat before. Five hours to win on this winning place in the seven. 42 to one piece. Good luck on that, man. Man or woman. Sorry, I'm not sure. Angel. Ankel could go either way. Mike Witten has the eight with the one, two, three. I don't know whether he's betting an exacta. Try. But uh let's see. Todd. Todd's reaching two nine over two eight nine. Not really a reach. I like that. It's pretty, pretty fair. One of those races where you're going to get a decent price no matter what. Four to one is the current favorite. Six minutes to post. What's up, Mark? Weedy in the house. Mm, mm, mm. Maddie agrees with Todd's exactly. Yeah, that's that's a pretty narrow way to play it. I mean, if you if you hit that, what's that? A six dollar bet. I just don't like the two or the nine on top. I I could get with. I can get with the I can get with the two, but I don't see. Let me see. Let me take a closer look at that nine real quick. We got five minutes. I'll put my final bet up here in a second. Yeah, the nine. The nine's like a mid packer to me. I mean, I'm not saying. Yeah. Uh, this is, look at look at the odds. Besides the seven, ten, and eleven, every horse is between five to four to one and nine to one. Right. You got like eight horses with the same odds, basically. So. And I'm, I'm wondering if Biscuitza is here tonight because Biscuitza has been on this horse every time and all of a sudden he's not. So I, I was, I know he hasn't been up yet in, I, in the races I was looking at and I didn't make it to the last couple yet. I'm looking now, but I don't think he's here tonight. At least he's not right. Well, you could look at that. He's either good or bad because. Exactly. So I can narrow you know, it down. I don't like that another, it, yes. Well, I, I take that back. He He's on the one horse in the sixth race. So why is he not on this one? All right. So people in the chat, I'm going to, I'm going to, I am going to key box the six. That's going to be my, uh, like I said, I think that's the safest uh, top three horse. One, two, and eight underneath. Give me another, give me a bomb that might get home in, in a trifecta for third. Uh, doesn't have to be a bomb. Just give me another horse that, I saw the four mentioned a lot. I know Sean's got the four actually on top. But right at well, the, the, four, the, the four is 10 to one. That, that would be the definitely the one that I would think at, at the odds. That I would definitely add that one in. The four? Yes, that would be the one I would put in. Somebody else just said the five. 
Charles Charles just said throw the five in. Let me take a look. I, I don't I haven't even talked about the five. So yeah, four, five, and nine seems to be like the uh, next one in. And yeah, I I definitely like the four over the nine a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I and I would put the five definitely third of the three for me. Oh, dude, the five and the four are so close. You like the four better? Four is bet bigger odds. I mean, if, if if we're looking for something to get in at a price, that's that's what I like. Yeah, and I don't think any of those and, has a chance to win, but they could hit third. You know it, exactly, and and you know the the five has been racing consistently and and still not cracking through. But I I got to give the four the lean because it's second off a layoff. So I look for a step forward from that one. You know, compared right, putting the official better now at the fifty cent try key box and it's going to be so what are six, we doing I'm six sorry. with one two four eight it's six eighteen dollars tim started conservative i'm not try key box i'm not i'm not going conservative this is too good of a betting race i think there's a huge uh potential for a, a big payout here let's we'll see how it goes yeah so eighteen dollars Fifty cent bet, eighteen bucks. Good luck if you're playing along. I don't have the ROI uh, graphic updated, but we're still right around three hundred percent ROI for the year, which is ridiculous. We did lose last week. I think we lost, right? Yes. But the week before, we had a double header, and we lost one, won the other, and then the three or four weeks leading up to that, we were on a major hot streak, major heater. Yep. I only jumped in for the last race, and we lost because you wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> what was it? I forget. Remember, I I said that was the race. I said uh, that we uh, I I had a shoddy pick. Was she in there? And I had the six nine oh, yeah. exact the box. Oh, yeah, and then it, it came it came six nine, and we bet the nine to win. Oh yeah, and then I got second. Yes. Yeah, six sixty nine would have paid well too, right? Because the six was like that wouldn't have been huge because I think the nine was chalky as hell. But one hundred and twenty six in the house, folks. You love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. See it. Let's get a winner, folks. Let's get this party started. Uh, Attila Corral. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. He likes he or she likes the one eight with the one two eight ten eleven. Man, now that's bomb hunting, folks. One eight on top. I can't help but think one two eight all reasonable ten eleven seeking that bomb like we were seeking for the uh, underneath play. Mike Witten, trusty called and personally guaranteed the 812 in this race. What kind of percentage are we getting out? Mike Witten is, I don't know if you guys have heard this, but Mike Witten has signed as the agent for Dennis Trust, you know. So he kind of holds the uh I guess the profit and loss, you know, the he, he owns the financials for Dennis Trusty Incorporated now. So it's great to see. It's great to see uh, somebody like Dennis getting a big time management partner like Mike Witten. And this thing is growing into it's just, it's great to see guys growing out of nowhere here. Thank you, Grandma. Yes. How about hitting the thumbs up, like the video, uh, share it, share it if you're on any of the, uh, you know, social media, retweet, like it subscribe all that good stuff it really helps and listen baby the jeff ruby stakes we got to talk about that the biggest race of the year at turfway is it i, I think it is right yes it is i mean take it or I, leave i would it. agree with that race two they're loaded up last one Eleven's in. going in and the official bet once again we need that six involved in the trifecta with the one two four eight let's go six gets out of the gate well Pretty even start, the three to the inside, the six outside that one. Six I think that's black the, beauty, ain't it? It's a dark. So really it's the old. seven outside those two, but the six, Mr. Cunningham, going to put a nose in front of the three and uh, go ahead and pull away a little bit to the lead. The seven's going to continue to his outside at 98 to one. The 10 Froome is going to come up outside the three horse moon mischief. Just behind that one is the five. 
It's another length back to the two. And then you've got eight, nine, one, and four up front. They went to the quarter in 24 at 0. 0.42 seconds. Mr. Cunningham still out front, hanging on the seven just outside. That one's starting up. to drop back a little bit. Froome is looming at 52 to one in third. And that three horse moon mischief is still holding the rail. Uh, just behind that one, it looks to be the five starting to make a bit of a move, and the two uh, is dropping out, it Look seems the like. Eight uh, Eight's getting serious. Yes, yeah, so the Look eight is starting to still, uh, eight's starting to heat up on the outside and just blow and buy the horses as we hit the top of the stretch. Who's Here's looking the lively Sailors too. Let's go. chance on top. We need Mr. Cunningham in the six to that speed to hold. Come on, six. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, six he was a little flat, little bro. squirrely on the turn, up, and now six. you got a whole bunch of horses coming to run, but he still Stay got up, some. Six. Hang on, Come on six. six. Who's hang coming on the outside? Six. Give me this two. Six to hang on for a second. Hang on, six. You Give got a lot two. of horses coming to the outside ah. of that one, and they're going to get him. They're going to get the six. He's not going to have enough, but there is the four, eight, four, and two. Damn it. We had the, we had the wrong horse keyed. Eight, four, and two we had involved. And that would have been a nice one. That was, I mean, that was the, I guess, did he go off the favorite? He was the favorite leading. He in. did, two to one. Two to one, okay. I, I just thought that horse was much the best. I, I couldn't believe when he was showing six to one when I was talking about it. So eight, four, two. That's going to be a nice trifecta with that 19 to one piece in second. Absolutely. And that was the one that we said that was our price horse. We just had the six. Sean called it. Sean eight. had the four on top, which good call, Sean. Um, my initial thoughts, let me see what. I had one. No, my initial thoughts were going to be to box one, two, six, eight. I wouldn't add the four either way. So I did add the four, but I had the wrong key horse. Congrats if you hit it. If you hit it, put it in there. Put it in there. Uh, put it in the chat. Yes. Yes. Uh, Mike Witten, congrats, by the way, getting that standard 10% cut out of Dennis Trusty. Let's see here. Who, who, who got a, who got a piece of that thing? Uh, Dr. Jude 518, welcome in. I think you're I think that's a new name. Love to see a new name. Grandma says this, this is a support group where I can go and drink and not drink alone. I agree. Yes. It's uh yeah, we can pretend like we're not alone. I resemble that remark. Every Thursday. Rick Johnson, you Rick Johnson hit it. Let's see. Let's let's go back in the chat, see what everybody had. It's time to brag, folks. What we do in the lounge is we make our bets. We either celebrate or we don't, and we like to, uh, you know, let everybody else talk some shit if they hit. We missed that one. I don't see, let's see, Sean, 4821. Yeah, Sean, if, if we had have boxed his horses, you'd have had it. Alex had the nine. Kevin Phillips had the one. Yeah, we were, it was a tough race, man. No doubt. It was a very tough race. But it is early in the – there is only eight races, though. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah, there's only eight early tonight. Early in the card, but plenty of races to go. Lots of time. I cost us 18. I'll update the bank real quick. I, I, and, did. Uh, I did. Oh, you did? Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk a little bit about the Jeff Ruby stakes. Anybody have any opinions? Should I pull? Let me pull. I'll pull the field up. I, was about I haven't to even looked that close at it yet, but I'll pull it up for the hell of it. Why not? And I think it's important, folks, because the last two years, we've had some monsters come out of Turfway Park. And it used to be kind of a race where you laugh, you know, oh, there's a uh, wasted wasted points uh you know whatever because synthetic and all that good stuff but uh, i don't think anybody was laughing at rich strike ever heard of him or a little horse called I heard that name before. who wasn't last year? two fills huh? two fills two fills so one of the darlings of last year so yeah the last two years you had two rock stars coming out of this race great horse poor grammar <laughs> terrible grammar it really bothered me. I'm a grammar Nazi, and I know 
Too hey, Robert, we we talked a uh, we talked a little bit earlier about some uh, game of uh, silks uh, stuff with the crowd, just trying to uh, tell them what we're doing and uh, how excited we are, and that we got a couple of horses, and we had a a few people say that they're they're interested. So we're kind of seeing if we can get some additional interest and uh, maybe bring some more people into the game. But we we definitely want to chat a little bit throughout the night about our our stable a little bit. Yeah, what are we first of all, what are we doing? We've minted the two horses. We've we we got a group together. We're, with we're a getting bit ready to mint another one. We've just kind of been watching gas prices a little bit. And we're gonna do it over the next I, I think sometime over the weekend. If I have to do it in the middle of the night to get the best deal we got, then whatever. Yeah, and then we have the what I'm looking forward to most is the open market, baby. I'm gonna start exactly wheeling and dealing on the open market, trying to find things that maybe we can get an edge on about knowing a little bit of history, maybe a little uh, backdoor knowledge on the trainer and ownership. We, we have a, we have a pedigree expert amongst the profits. Yep. We're going. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward that, to that even more than the, the minting of horses. I, I am too. The minting is pretty exciting too. Right. Colin is here folks. And it's good to see Colin in here. Not during like when they're loading up, going into the gate or something because it seems like things can go a little sideways when uh Callan checks in at the wrong time but we'd like to thank the 140 people in here tonight see if we can blow this thing up to uh almost uh, well i think we were up to 800 or something I mean, it yes crazy it, it got really thing. close to 800 tomorrow. right at it for sure What's up, Colin? Colin, we were just talking about you a little while ago, talking about how you're like uh, a crackhead to the game of silks because the guy's got what was it? New Year's Eve. Thirty horse. The guy, the guy, the guy uh, minted his first horse on uh, New Year's Eve, and now the guy's got like forty in his thing. Unbelievable. He's like Dave Chappelle with the uh, remember the powder character he used to play on there. Yes, Ashy Larry. That's exactly what it's like. So I was looking, I'm, I'm trying to find a, a good graphic on uh, the probables for the Jeff Ruby. So am I. But I, I know there's been a little bit of talk. I heard uh, West Saratoga was thinking about going uh, endlessly is definitely uh, one of the ones that I saw on the list. Do we think there's another darling coming out of Turfway for uh, the Ruby, like like there has been the last couple of years, or, or is it an anomaly that ends here? I mean, what are we doing? Well, I I, I think you have to look at the horses, right? And, and let's take West Saratoga as an example. So West Saratoga is a horse like Two Fields that was involved in some of the other preps that ran a lot on dirt. It wasn't just like the horse was a a um, I, I, a horse that only ran on the poly and, and was coming off a of poly and hadn't been on dirt much. No, the, that horse had some decent dirt races, but based on what uh, the horse did up at uh, Turfway, that made uh, the horse even more attractive and, you know, it did, did well in the Derby and in the, and in the, the triple crown races. So uh, I thought that that was a, a decent horse coming out of there. The, the, now the, the year before that, that was completely different. And I don't think anybody expected that. And yeah. uh, that was com a completely different story. But I, this year it could be if, if a horse like West Saratoga comes out, you can look at the previous races and say, you know, I see it. I see that this horse had some okay races and hasn't won lately, but win something here and then comes back. Okay. Just putting it together at the right time. It just happened to be on the poly track. I've got a, I got a quick image we can share here eventually. Mal, I thought Epic Ride is going to the bluegrass, so Epic Ride is is going to pull out of the the Jeff Ruby because I I I see that uh, that horse is also listed. So, but that that's another one. Second in the John Battaglia. So, 
So Todd Pletcher's bringing in a horse that was far back in the Risen Star, Moonlight. That's a horse that was favored in that race. It was amongst the favorites. And so that's a horse that could come in here and have a big race and people be like, all right, I see it had one bad race. Got it, Mal, I thought. But endlessly had a first in the El Camino Real Derby. Sees the gray, uh, a first in an uh, allowance optional claimer. Noted, which was seventh in the Kitten Joy. Common Defense had a second at the Rebel. Agate Road, however you want to say that. Uh, second in the Sam F. Davis. Encino, who was first in the John Battaglia. And Epic Ride, who was second in the John Battaglia. So both of those horse stay, horses staying right there at Turfway to come right back. So uh, coming off solid performances Encino, there. Shout out Encino Man. Encino Man. Indeed. There he is. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, guys. How's it going? How are you, sir? Star studded event just continues to... Mm. To grow, we were just talking about the Jeff Ruby stakes. There we oh, go. The Ruby. There's a graphic of yet. the uh, probables and possibles. Nice. Yes. So there Got you have moonlight. it. Yeah, that's a horse I was just talking about. I mean, was favored uh, in that Risen Star, was amongst the favorites, and just didn't run well. So yeah, you know, Fletcher's bringing him back on the on the poly, which is interesting. But uh, yep. based on what we've seen the last couple of years, nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. I mean, last two years, right? Exactly. That's this what we race were just is saying, uh, yes. this race has produced some some top two horses. I thought it was interesting. I I was waiting for that. As soon as Tim said it, I was gearing up. Yeah, and yeah, I'm like, yeah there are certain cues that you're just not going to get around. You're not going to escape those cues. Can't do it. Checking yeah, in I, on the I formula's to... hair, that usually becomes a topic. Let's just get that. <laughs> a, lot of the, a lot of the chatter has been, uh, we got to get you a mic and a, a real speaker and mic setup so we can get your hair without the, uh, the headphones, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think that would be better for everybody. A better experience for everybody. And that's what it's about. It's really about the experience, yeah, right? Yeah. You it's want the interaction. Experience. All about that experience. You gotta have I, the aesthetic, you know? Yeah, I got Mark Palmer this out. out there. Mark Palmer, if you're in here, check in. We had a good conversation about Mark Palmer. We did earlier today. <laughs> we care. The this is the first time I'm legend. looking at the he Ruby, a, by the way. Yeah, I haven't I haven't spent much time on it either. I haven't either. We were just discussing yeah. it. That is, I, I had seen a couple of these of names the last couple of years. Yeah, this has been such a lukewarm season for a derby. Usually, I have a couple of favorites that I'm preaching to the choir about, and I just I, can't nail it down this year, folks. Yeah, and I was even talking about this when I did my derby talk episode. Um, which by the way, two, feel free I got to check two, out, but I don't feel on. wonderful about them, right. It, there's just been no two-time winners in 2024. Yeah, I know. A bunch of people are going to come out and say, oh, track fandom won the gun runner as well. That was a second yeah. a second win, right? Or, um, But really, once January hits, you start looking for those horses that can like start tying together a couple wins, like Forte did last year, right? You look at those horses, you're like, ooh, look at that. Like, this, this horse is sticking out. Nothing like that. It, no. I don't... Someone can say Nysos all they it, want, but yeah. even Nysos is starting to fall off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's on the he's bench. Back. He's on the bench, has yet to even stretch out to eight and a half furlongs, which, okay, I'm sure a lot of people can look past that, but here we are in March. If I haven't seen him run eight and a half furlongs by March, I'm going to be a little questioning here. So for all those people who are like, ooh, you're lucky that Baffert's not able to be in the Derby – Please, he's well, not Baffert exactly hater. looking flawless. Not a Baffert hater, just being a realist. I know. I just wanted to say it to get. I know you, you know, did. Everybody <laughs> else was going to say it if I didn't. Yeah. Not. I. I didn't realize he was on the bench, but. Very recent. I think that came up yes. yesterday. Yes, he. He's. Uh, I think they said some kind of minor injury or something, but was it an injury or? I think it was. I'm trying to remember what they said it was. I just remember. Malathot, yeah. Angel of Empire did nothing wrong. He had a nice, he had a nice uh, three-year-old season. Absolutely, one of the better out of that crop for sure. Absolutely, he finished what third in the Derby or something like that. 
nothing yeah. wrong with that. Pretty sure. And he, I don't, I don't recall him ever having a real bad one either. No. Did he? I think, didn't he have two wins in a row as well? Then he wins Southwest and then Louisiana. Do I remember that right? I'm sure somebody can. That's all. That shit's all running together for me. Yeah, exactly. To be fair, I didn't know. Yeah, Tappet Trice was my guy last year. I'll admit it. Yeah. I The horse couldn't get out of the gate, and I thought, you know, being in one of the best barns in the country that you would uh, maybe be able to correct that because there was no doubt the horse had the speed once he got rolling. But I'm going to take you I tell half you what, an hour to get rolling. He rolled out some pretty impressive times, too, and he did win. So I even though he had, he had trouble it. getting started, his closing was so good that he was making up for it in the races that he was winning. I was looking oh, at that yeah. yesterday. He came from the yeah. clouds a bunch, and you know it's it's not the type of horse you want for the Derby. But I thought he was the type of horse that could overcome that if anybody could. But he never we improved were, out of the gate. He never. He we never got coming out. Of, I thought sorry, they could train that out of him. Hey, Jessica's in the house. Another. And we were coming off of a year when Rich Strike was deep closer and won the Kentucky Derby. So we're all like, well, this can happen. Deep closer, you can come from really far back and weave your way in if you get the right... Yeah, if you get the most just, ridiculous pace of all time set in front of you. And also, you, you get the benefit of the And the, the Red Sea opening up. up. The Red Sea opening up. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. That was, that Irad was gave him the rail. Dude. On our channel, dude, the most watched video on our channel in history is that, that short, which is just the rich strike, uh, what do you call it, the drone view? It's yes. incredible. It's still it, it is incredible. I've seen it fifty times. And it's it is incredible. Cool. I I probably watched it fifty times. It's like it's I, it was. It just amazing. It was the absolute perfect trip. Everything opened up for that horse. Every time he got felt, behind a horse, everybody's like, "Here you go." It literally felt. Uh, I mean, obviously the horse had the most speed, the end, but it was still <laughs> like. It was like uh, playing a video game as a child when you're, uh, you know, Mario yeah. Kart or some shit. And you're just weaving around, and it's like. It was ridiculous, and to put that into the biggest race in horse racing with a ninety to one odds horse it was just awesome. Yeah, I I love it when you do those aerial views, and, and yeah, that was crazy. Gulfstream started doing that more and more, and I, you know, I I eat it up when they do. Like, let's see more of that. It's it's more interesting than you know watching them pan, and it's like oh. 20 trees got in the way. I don't know what's happening. And then they screw up the order of the horses and whatnot. Yeah. Well, I guess it's time to take a look with 11 minutes to post for race three, boys. We haven't talked about this race at all yet. Sony Leone, you the... ride of a lifetime from Keith. True story. What's yeah. up? Fap, fap, win. Love to see it. Got a lot of new names in the chat. 150 people in there. As the lounge continues to grow in popularity, we need a winner. I just blew 18 bucks for the uh, bankroll. Tim went I, with a pretty reasonable $6 bet in the first race, but it's time we can, uh, it's time to and we only have back in the positive. If you Formula, you're your, up, baby. If you check your email, I did send you the tip sheet, by the way, in a less blurry format than what Facebook yeah, does yeah. to it. Thank um, you. We're on race three now. My we are. Up, mind that bird. Yeah, it's very similar. Mind that bird. Mind that bird was... I don't know if it was a better than Rick. No, Ray. I, That's you know, my, statement. mine, that bird was just a typical Calvin bow rail, you know, rail run, mm -hmm. scraping the rail coming up from where he always did at Churchill. Yeah. That that was a completely different. If, if you go back and watch that rich strike, I mean, it was inside, outside, up the middle. Oh, and yeah. that, I mean, it Stupid. was just the, the, the most, yeah. uh, like literally the craziest ride I've happened. ever seen. Yeah, it was nuts. And it was and it was flawless. The horse never had to pause. He never had to slow. Everything just opened so it could be like full speed in, full speed out, full speed between. Yeah. It was it was amazing. I was such a fan Perfect. of Epicenter too. I hated it. One, I once, know. once in a million. Once in a million. And the shame about Epicenter was if you look, it, just take a look at the results of that race. Go to Equibase, download it. Look at every horse that was in like the top five or top six for the first three quarters of a mile. And you'll see a whole bunch of horses. Then look to the right and look at where they finished. And you'll see that they all finished like 15 or worse, right. except for Epicenter. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Right. Epicenter it's just so amazing. Yeah. yeah to be that close to that, that pace and, and still finish in second place. Yeah, that lived, was an incredible. He lived through that pace. What was that horse's name that uh, that came over and set that ridiculous pace? The Saturday. One from 
tomorrow, su- summer, summer tomorrow, summer of tomorrow, summer tomorrow, summer tomorrow, tomorrow's uh, Tom- tomorrow. summer of tomorrow, I think. And if I'm that wrong, was, the comment section will correct me. Those fractions were wild. Absolutely. Tom- summer is tomorrow. Come on, man. I mean, yeah, summer is tomorrow. Yep. Summer is tomorrow. Oh, that's an yep. awkward name. I thought it was some. Yeah, it was kind of a wacky name. Nine minutes yeah. to post. Uh, okay. Formula, you're on the gun. I'll go first. Yeah. I'm just gonna. And by the way, I am referencing the formula zone sheet as a, a major key here because it does work here at Turfway this year. Yeah, we've been good, right? And uh, let's take a look at the live odds here. The 10, the two is currently the favorite mm. with the 10 slightly behind. Yep. We got three horses, uh, four horses taking, and I guess three horses taking money. If three horses taking five money. Five in there. And then everybody else is 10 to 1 or greater. So this is a little unbalanced compared to last race. I'll say. And I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, I think I like, I hate to do this. By all means. I like the two, the two probably the best, which is the chalk. Five yeah. probably second best. And then 10. So, yeah, I, I kind of Two, agree five, with ten. the public, unfortunately. Yeah. That is but I'm why? I mean, I'm glad this isn't my race because I, I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable yeah. with that one at all. But last race was last race was harder. But this race, I can't. Okay. Whew. Okay. Timothy? So you're, you're saying you have in order 2, 5, 10. That yeah, is your which order. Is, which is almost perfect uh, odds order. But Yeah. Yeah. I yep. hate when that's the case, but uh, Rodney in the chat says 10, 10 wins for fun. Rodney, I'm I'm with you because uh, the 10, I, I looked at them. I see where people are going with the two. I'll talk about that in a second, but I, sure. I've i got the 10 on top. I, I really like the connections, you know, Robert Medina, Alex Ashard getting up here. I, I think that uh, the, the speed figures for this horse are good. I, I think the horse is going to sit off of uh, – uh, there is speed in here for this horse to sit off of come with a run that that's the way the first couple of races seem to have gone. And uh, I like the 10 when you look at this too. I mean, I, I get it. I see what people are talking about. The horse was a maiden special way running at Belmont running at Aqueduct, good connections. It was a George Weaver trained horse. Mm. Uh, it was, you know, a three time beaten favorite now, and uh, but that last drop and and I know it was in the mud, but that last drop was uh, pretty good into maiden 30. So dropped into maiden claiming at a, at a favorite and still didn't win. And here's what I always say about horses on the drop. If you're on the drop and I can see, you know, see something else. I mean, I, I get the speed figures, but it's sure. like two races, two races on the dirt and, and you know, four races on the turf. So. I, I got to I gotta see something more before I'm putting a horse like this on top when I've got a horse that I like, like the 10. So I will put the horse underneath, and then I'm the same as everybody else. I, I, I Even even I was looking, Scott and Caitlin have the exact same thing. They both have the top four horses in the same order, and they have 2, 10, 5, 8. I have 10, 2, 5, 8. So yeah, those are the horses. Not before sexy. Jump, to. Before you jump in, Formula, Yeah, I will say that I probably – Odds not considered would have the 10 on top too. Full disclosure. Yeah. But, you know, I, I'm looking at the odds. It's very close. I think, honestly, the 10 and the 2 throw a hat on them. I don't think the 10's, you know, uh, heads above it. But, yeah, 10 and 2, I think – I really don't even think you need to go further than that to, now that I'm looking closer. But the 5's yeah. in there. But this is not – I don't know, man. Unless you like one of the outsiders outside of those three. There's Papa Trace is trash, by the way, in the chat. Thank you, uh, Rodney. <laughs> I, I posted that for you from Rodney. Yeah, yeah feel free you. to unclick that. <laughs> um, the other horse that I like once you get past the top three is the one that Tim named, the eight. Yes. Um, the uh, I'm trying to – what has happened so off far? The right, off the cuff. Um, off the cuff. I like the eight. What has happened so far? Have we been – have we been you, pace heavy? You've had – You've had horses out on the lead uh, in the first race. Uh, the horse held until mid stretch before somebody came from basically what I would call two to three back and, okay. and uh, one. 
uh, similar in the last race to where the horse was on the speed, lost lost more ground and did not hit the board with the speed in that one. Uh, the okay. horse that came in second was similar mid-pack and uh, the horse that won, excuse me, the other horses like second, third, and fourth all came from way back and finished with a close. Okay. I do think that if there's any horse that sets the pace here, it's probably going to be the two. There's a whole bunch of horses here that pace-wise I have is sitting just off the pace. I had this one being a little bit more aggressive than the others, but um, one, two, seven, and I think that's 11 I have is all being very forwardly paced horses. And then um, a few in here that are going to be maybe middle pack or closers thing I don't like about the five in this race is that that horse is probably going to be further back, even though he is a deep closer, has the ability yes. to close in. Um, yeah, I like the 10 on top, as we've said. Um, the two, I don't think you can ignore. The five, I'm not crazy. Uh, let me put the eight next. The five, I'm not crazy about. I don't know if you can ignore him, though. Because he does have that closing ability. I know. Three minutes. I know. Time to get start making decisions. You, you know what? And and formula, uh, you you bet it how you see. This is one of those races that I I like to use my, the way that I it's it's a structure I use over and over and over. And that sure. is my exacta box. And then I take those two and and place them one two with one two with whatever horses for third in our try. So because yeah. I think that two and ten are like the, they're the exact. It's like I think everybody else is third. And then you can also swap that second place and third place in a, in another try ticket if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm looking to I'm I'm going to try to see if I can avoid the five and do a trifecta box here. So shout out minutes. Gizmo Hardy real quick. Congratulations on the birth of a beautiful baby boy Oof. in intensive care. Prayers up for uh, those oh, of you wow. who pray. Uh, yes. Just wanted to get that out there. Absolutely. That one's for you. If you're Definitely. religious, please send some prayers out there. Love to Absolutely. see it. Absolutely. Hopefully everything's so, all right. Next okay. Time. Sorry, formula. Get, let's go. Let's get this up. No, absolutely. And I think Gizmo was the one, or, or someone was on here and saying the seven. The seven is another horse that I'm actually curious about here so love the way the seven looks on the track right so i'm going to do a trifecta box here a trifecta key box i am i am ready the the pick is in essentially oh god we forgot to do that tim you failed me oh i did all right did i there did i is. type it in yeah, there we go. Yes. Um, I typed it in, but I didn't type the price with it. So it's going to be 50 cents, which is going to roll up to a $9 spend, keying the 10 with the 2, 7, and 8. I'm going to try to ignore the 5 here, thinking a deep closer going 6 furlongs is going to just miss the cut. I'm hoping some of the horses that I got here that are a little bit more forwardly paced. There's a few that I see dropping in class, too. Like I like how much the 7 and the 2 are dropping in class here. Um, I'm hoping we can uh, get those up there. Maybe the five just misses out and we get ourselves a trifecta. There you go. Yeah, the seven has been bet down to uh, way too chalky than you'd like to see on a horse. It seems like such a reach to me. I agree with exactly what. Uh, I, I think a lot of people are betting how good this horse obviously. looks because I've been watching the horse over and over on the track. Which horse is that? Warming up the seven. Oh, the seven. Seven down to seven to one. Yeah, I, I was going between the seven and the three. I do like the way I read out the seven a little bit better. Yes, Happy Pie Day. Absolutely right at the wire. This is Happy Pie Day. My my daughter wore a, a pie shirt to school, so. Oh, God, is that it. so. 314. El Hombre, you look a little pained by that comment. That's just one of those things, you know. <laughs> you old grump. Yeah, exactly, right. dude. I it just <laughs> every day that my daughters come up with some bullshit like that, I sit here and go, "Got him." All right, um, we're loading up about half of me in. Wow, the ten, the number on the ten dropped. I don't know if it was while I was figuring out even what to money. do here, but now he's even money, and the three is th that's the, all right. The two is three just going to put the balance of the trifecta. Yeah. When somebody pulls the upset, I, I mean, what are you yeah. going to do? How are you going to bet this though? You can. I mean, you could key the yeah. ten on top, I suppose. Yeah. But uh. I you mean, know, I, I think the money's right. I think so, too. Eighty people on in the lounge. This is a growing thing, and a lot of them are from Twitter, so thanks, everybody, joining from Twitter. Wow, look at that. Looks like there's over half of them. Seven ones Twitter. out. Watch him run. Oh, yeah. 
All right, they they're breaking out. Here we go. The nine and the one are going to the front first. And ten is pretty close there. Ten, two, seven, eight. Seven, seven is, is lively. Absolutely. I didn't even look at their names. Monba Quake. We will conquer. How about all that? South Decatur. Yeah, so we do have a pace duel here between the one and the seven, South Decatur and Mamba Quake. They are stretching it out to a three-length lead over the rest of the pack here in the six furlong race as they are just about to enter that turn there. They still do have a nice lead, stretching it out, maybe about to wow, four why lengths does here. one look like he might have something here? Why, do, <laughs> why, why does one look like he's prepping right, for the derby anchor, right son. now? Here comes the two and the ten. The two seven, and the ten. Seven's oh, we need. Seven's in hand. He's getting ready to go, and the two and ten are coming. The ten one to seven. Let's go. The, the ten, ten definitely seven. looks like he's ready. We need ready. seven to get up. We need and the then seven we got to a, be up on top, boy. A wide turn by what looks like the five way back there. Glad I did Here not put the five. Seven's in. got a drop anchor, and he's dropping. Ten's going to win. So we need the one to drop anchor. The ten is making his way up to the front. He is now in front. The five is sorry. Five that was is the nine. He's way back eight. there. The five is going to kick my butt here. There it is. The five Five's is going gonna, to win this race. Five, five eight, eight, ten. ten. The one well, you had to dodge. I don't know. I mean, you had to. Now you have Sonny to. Sonny Leone from way back. Sonny Leone. I, I knew better than to do that. About the, uh, Rich Strike trip, you know? I knew better than to do that, guys. Right at the wire. This guy. This guy, is, uh, he's becoming the new, uh, what's his name that I can't mention anymore? <laughs> No, no, he's not that bad. And we're not saying that name. We're oh, moving on. No, no, we're Five, done. eight, ten. Come trust, on. Trust me, we're out. We're out of that game. <sighs> Alex, uh, one of those things that, yeah, I'm a grumpy old man, Alex. What do you want from me? God damn it. And what I said about the five, a deep closer who can close, I just didn't think he was going to be able to do it this quickly this. in a six for a long race. Something out, no. though? I mean, the five went off at three to one. He did. This yeah. is not a stellar... Uh, so that was five, eight, ten. Well, the eight five, got eight, the eight, twelve to one. You're gonna twelve get... to one. It's it's gonna pay. Chaz B with the win. Good job. Melathot looks like he caught the try. Yeah. Good job, guys. I got I got too cute there. Just too cute. Hey, hey speak for yourself, Alex. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta admit when you're getting too cute. We've all done it. We've all done you it. Know? Try to try to talk ourselves out of a horse that we. We still had capped correctly. Yeah, because I mean, even even if we key the ten, who we think is best, I mean, the five and the eight were you know two of the horses. But here, here's that point, and and this is not a nice. Well, coach. my original key, my original trifecta key box was ten, two, five, eight, and then right. I crossed off the five, trying to gain a price with the seven because I kind of like the seven, um, and I didn't like the pace numbers on the five. I thought he's too far back to close out, and um, yeah, I talked myself out of a trifecta. Yeah. Like but, but just to point out again, this is this is something I watch regularly and something that I mentioned. It's just like when I see a horse dropping this much, I, I've just got to see more, you know, especially when he's not showing me even the surface. I've just got to see more from this horse before I can see him being, you know, that kind of favorite. And he looked like the class that you couldn't leave out, but I, I, I see why he was not even on the board. He wasn't even there. Who's that? that? One, the the one two. was uh, two. playing the summer of summer's tomorrow role met there a little bit, maybe. Yeah. He went out he went out hard and looked serious for a long time. Finished better than the two did. Herman Traza. Bobby D. Bobby D, baby. Nice hit. Hitting the exact Well dude. done, Bobby. That exact people uh, in the lounge. That exact looking to pay. To, uh, can we get this thing to blow up like last week to eight hundred? I don't know. Let's go. Believe it or not, folks, only seventy people are watching through YouTube. We got like a hundred and 30 or something on uh, Twitter. So Twitter's becoming oh, nice. a, you know, whatever. I don't care where you're Broke off a you second hundo. Look at that. Just make the lounge a bigger thing. We love to see it. We got MKT looking like a new name in the lounge. I thought the one might run outrun his eye. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you, right? I mean, I, especially when they uh, got about three quarters of the way through that race i was like wow the one looks like he's got something left and then he dropped the anchor you know yeah. and, and that was that was the Super exact factor. trip of the six in the previous race showed speed until just just into the stretch and then faded badly at the end so who's was how far did the five come back or come oh he came from he come all from? the deep he all came the from all the way in the back plus so whatever the nine was the nine was way back right? and 
yeah. and went wide. The five was like in in the back of the main pack. So, Sonny came from Lexington. Sonny came home. You know that song from the nineties? No, dude. Uh, so we're seeing deep closers can happen here, babe. Right? Yeah, right. even, even at six furlongs. Yeah. What are we All cheering right. about? Eighty three, eighty two. What's he cheering about? All right, so let's see here. Uh, maybe last, he doubled up the exacta. So, right at the for wire. Those, for those of us uh, taking notes at home, for the kids, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, closers can happen tonight. Yeah, this is not a speed favoring track tonight. <clears throat> so take note. Do not be afraid of the closers tonight. Some days it is the opposite. Well, formula. What was our total bit there? I'm gonna update. That Nine dollars. Nice. It was a nine dollar truck. Got a what? Box. Sixty-five 57. bucks left. Six sixty-seven bucks left. Plenty of time. Plenty. I can of do time. math. And we had it. Yeah, we you hear that? Sunny came home. I can't do that. That was like a what mid nineties reset. I mean, no clue. I can't even remember the hundred bucks. If you can do it without googling, who nope. sang it? What was the actual song? Uh, I'm googling. <laughs> I think it was it Natalie and Brulia or whatever her name was. Nope. I've got the answer right here. All right. Hang on. I'm going to pull it. Watch I'm going to hang. What was the song again? Tell me. And I'm, I'm a Sunny. Sunny. I don't even Sunny think that was the title. S-U-N-N-Y, Sonny. Was that the title? Yes, Sonny By the way, if you guys want to play music trivia all night, it was not Lisa Loeb, Sean. Sorry. It was not Lisa Loeb. Nice try. Lisa Loeb in nine stories. I can tell you all about Lisa Loeb. Yeah, absolutely. Looking like Tina Fey out there. Uh, yeah. What was the... You say, yeah. <laughs> don't make me get my acoustic guitar and start playing. I mean, yeah, like, I mean, I'll just, losing like this. I'll just pick up oh, my what? axe right here. You remember this one, El Hombre? Oh my God, you've had that since ninth grade. Mayor Goldie Wilson, progressive rock is his middle mm -hmm. name. How's that thing hold tune anymore? Oh, it it actually does. This is does that, what is my that? Is first that guitar. Jackson? No, no, it's a Godin. It's a Canadian guitar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. By the way, Kevin Phillips just nailed. Is it Suzanne? No, nope. Colvin. Sean Colvin. It's Sean Colvin. Maddie there Fields nailed it, but I think Maddie. I'm I'm starting to get vibes that maybe you googled that. No, no, he, something he he spelled Colvin. Yeah, but maybe Colvin that was right, his tactful but... way of making it look like he didn't Google. Oh man, you are such a cynic! Holy cow! <laughs> I am, Give I am Maddie a, the listen, credit he deserves. Listen, dude. Maddie, Sean we're not we're not all like that in this channel. Exactly. <laughs> All right, now watch. I'll go hands free. Name some '90s bullshit one-hit wonder. Anything, even 2000s, even 80s. Bullshit. Bullshit. Single. What? What? One-hit wonder. Album title. Whatever you want. Any genre, except. And, and then what? I might even know country. But, and, uh, and then what? Really what's going to happen when we name I'll it? I'll go hands free. I won't Google. Okay. Okay. But yes, then what's yeah, going to happen? Google. We're going to tell you a band, and you're going to be like, yeah, and I'm gonna, I remember I'm going to pull some ridiculous answer, Uh huh. and you'll have to Google for it. All right. Well, I've got an way, idea Nine Horse, the biggest drunk driving ride I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eight, six, seven, um, five, three, oh, nine is Tommy Two-Tone. Go. Next. All right. Let, I, I've got an idea here. So do you remember the, the movie Dirty Work with um, Norm MacDonald? Yeah, but I'm not smooth criminal. Michael Jackson followed by Alien Ant oh, Farm. Come on, come on, too come on. easy. That's, too that's easy. way too easy. I don't know why. So safety dance was some safety shit dance. Thing. I'm gonna dance if we want to. So on that album, or on if you watch Dirty Work, it is like every song that came out in 1998 is in that movie. Okay. For example, Sonny came home. No. Name Veruca Salt. Uh, Seether. Come on. <laughs> Let's, let's just see either. Yeah, that's a good one. I, I got a good Actually, one for you, it. and I love this it. song, Obsession. Oh, that's um, an emotion. You got it. Whoa, yeah. here we deep go. Deep pulls, deep pulls. If there's one thing I'm proud of, it's my absolutely useless knowledge in music and semi charm life. You, you that's can't, eye blind. Yeah, you can't talk crazy. 80s one hit wonders without a little Dexy's Midnight Runner, so. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Come, Come on, Eileen. Eileen. Come on, Eileen. Not to be confused with the porn video with the same title. I'm disappointed by this. I remember there Ooh, being tequila. more. Ooh, anyway. tequila. You're going 60s there, but uh, oh, what was the name of that? Ooh. What was the name of that thing? Hold on. It's not Los Lobos, is it? 
No. No, no, no. Los no. Lobos. Right. Los Lobos did La Bamba reset. Right. Did they? Okay. The Richie Valens reset. Mm, tip of my tongue. I was actually hoping stuff. to get a little more obscure here. Yeah, the exactly. This is it, dude. Yeah. Incredible. All right. Let me. Chumba Wumba one hit wonder is uh, Tub Thumper next. Yeah. Hold on. Anybody? Hold on. That's the worst song ever written, by the way. It really is bad. It's, what about in the meantime? Do you remember that song? Space Hog. Go ahead. Oh, man. You pulled that quick. It's a great well song. Well done. Good. Photograph <sighs> Def Leppard next. That's too easy. Oh, he's Mike Witten's talking about the shit festival. Uh, Nickelback shit. Also had a song called Photograph. But Sleep Def Leppard had a decent song called Photograph. Pissing the Night Away. That's, yeah, tub thumping, right? Dun, dun, Dude, that was like my bar era. You dun, couldn't go dun, into a dun, bar dun, without hearing that dun, shit festival song. What about um, Mexican Radio? Um, I don't remember that one. Radio. Yeah, I know that song. I'm on a Mexican radio. Oh, what the hell was that band Mexican. called? Whoa. Radio. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Radio. yeah it's definitely one hit wonder. Radio. It is. Wall of Voodoo. Oh, Couldn't have named it. Good pull. Okay, what about You Are My Fascination? I bet you Tim knows this right off the bat. If he knows Animotion, he knows this. Because they were like the British version of, well, Animotion was the British version of this band. Lunatic Fringe, dude. That's Pink Floyd, right? Ooh. If that is, I'm not very familiar with it. Tim, you got that fascination? I, I, I got the whole song. I'm trying to remember who it was. <laughs> Sean, Sean Patrick Nolan's going for Lump, and that is the Presidents of the United, of the States, United of States of America. Yes, it terrible is. Terrible song, terrible band. It awful. is. Terrible. Completely I mean, just kill awful. Me. Kill me dead. I'd Same with Peaches, right? Isn't that also Presidents of the United States of America? Yes. You know, the country get a lot of Peaches or something? Anybody like familiar with the artist named Peaches, though? That's incredible, dude. It's incredible. If you haven't uh, checked out Peach's work, dude, I would play it right now, but we'd get copyrighted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very adult, too. You might not, if, if there's kids in the room, hit the mute mm -hmm. button, but look up Peach's. Mm -hmm. You can't All touch right. this. Come on. That's it's MC. Hammer, bro. Come on. Everybody knows the hammer. That okay, what, Tim. What about, what about this one? I, I was listening to this on the, on the way to school this morning. What about 19? In Vietnam, it was 19. No, 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 19. 19. Oh, I don't recall that one. You don't remember that song? I do not, no. From the 70s? It, it's, it's a one-hit wonder, Paul Hardcastle. Wow, out of my out of my range. I love it. I love it. 16 minutes. Mike Witten, quit rushing me along. Pressure in the, pressure in the line. <laughs> we've, we've got a full 16, 16 minutes, minutes here, guys. Man. It's like, we need like two. What's Red Rider? Okay. Scott Carr's asking Red Rider. Anybody familiar? No. I mean, is that the Christmas story thing? Mm -hmm. dumb, that is the BB dumb, gun uh, from Christmas story. Shit. On a red rubber BB gun with a compass and a stock and this thing which tells time. Macarena, uh, dude. Can you guys name that? Name that <sighs> wonderful artist that brought us that masterpiece? No. You guys still haven't named the band that sings Fascination. You got no no guess at that, El Hombre? I'll give you, give you a second song that they sing. Can you give me the hook? Can I give you the hook? You, what is it? Keep feeling yeah, fascination. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's what I thought. That's what I mm -hmm. thought the song you were talking about. I don't know. Passion burning. Yes. Whoa, whoa. Love so strong. Yeah, there it yeah. is. Yeah. yeah, I know the song, but I don't. I, I don't know who that is. Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you a more popular song that they sang. That song is popular, but a, a more popular song, right? was "Don't You Want Me." Don't you want me, baby? Come on. Uh, it's Human League, Trish says. Is that that's right? That's it. That's, yes, yeah, that's, Trish. That sounded Trish right as soon as she said that. Mickey, yes. You're So Fine was that, uh, what was the name of that band? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I always want to say that's Olivia Newton-John, but no, not no, even no. close. Not no, even. She had dark no. hair and it was a one-hit wonder. Human League, yes. Kevin Phillips. Oh, yeah, what was, that was one of those, if you watched vh1 in the 2000s oh, yeah, you probably yeah, saw I it mean, come up on pop-up video so much counting crows is mr jones not mrs jones mr jones dr june's yeah. going for mrs jones that's uh amy winehouse right amy winehouse one of the most underrated artists in the history of music by the way that one album she was amazing she's incredible her voice was i mean amazing. if you don't like her then you're seriously stupid and you have yeah, no totally. taste and you're a garbage hey, three here, of us can one, agree on that here's one ombre you should know this one 
99 Luft Balloons. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yep. And oh. it's uh I want to see is it the is it, it's a one word title, right? It is. And is it a country? No, it's like a, a girl's name. Oh man, the one oh, wow. wonders. Good pull. Always confounds me. Good pull. Cherry pie is warrant. Next. Um, yeah, too easy. Damn. So right I at the wire said w. Lena. It's actually Nina. Nina, yes. Nina. Yeah. Not to be confused you guys with, remember... not to be confused with Nina Cherry, who who later came out with a couple pop hits herself. You guys remember the Matt, song Matt "Heaven or Las Matty Vegas"? Heaven or Las Vegas. Could be Heaven or Las Vegas. Is that Urge Overkill? Nope. Whew. Yeah. Well, we have 13 minutes to post. Is it time to start talking horses, or can we? I mean, we can. Chase is in the house. He wants the most yeah. rocking German pop there is. That would be uh, <laughs> Rammstein, right? Rammstein. Well, it depends. And by the way, Rammstein Nina, is garbage. Nina in the eight in the nine, in the eighties. I mean, just yeah. garbage. Uh, Rammstein. Like I'm, I'm the right age to have been a fan of that shit. Terrible. Yeah. It, and by I the way, like, pretty they bad. were a total like Nine Inch Nails ripoff. I like that whole era of music, especially the thrash metal, Pantera, White Zombie, Duhast, Nine Inch Nails, all that stuff. That band sucked. All right. You're not wrong. Los Lonely Boys. Holy hell. Now we're getting, now we're digging. Pump up the jam, dude. Oh, that's, oh, um, that's Nina Cherry, right? No, no, no. Uh, that no, 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 no. That's, uh, no. Ted, if I take my. Uh, Tetronic. With the T. Tetronic. Tetronic. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Look at look at this. Oh, how serious how serious things have turned. Steve Miller band, <laughs> a legend. That's not. Steve Miller band. There's nothing obscure. Steve Bobby D. By the way, we'll check it in. There was like, there was a, there was that whole uh, you know black box and uh, 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 Tektronics and they were all very you know similar type songs. Yep. And... Black Velvet. Anybody? Salt and Pepper. Anybody? Black Velvet. That was. Don't you Google hands free? No, 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 no. You look at my hands. <laughs> Black oh. that's, that's like one of those songs that you only hear when you're in a bar where there's so much cigarette smoke that you can't even breathe. You're suffocating. <laughs> and there's there's always someone who wants to karaoke that song along with I want you. rock and roll. Yeah. Put another <laughs> yeah. jam into you back, babe. All right. Nick full of Nickelback fans. Black Velvet. Oh my god. Uh, let's talk Brickell in the new no it wasn't no right. dude Edie Brickell way better than the that new... come on dude yeah yeah you're right you're right black velvet it was man if i didn't start it's a, no it's a it's a, not a big name it was a one hit wonder no but it's 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 someone that when you hear it you're like oh yeah of course it's that person kevin phillips with a freaking ice ice baby reset Blue on Black is Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Kenny Thank Wayne you. Shepherd, KWS. Saw him live in New Orleans two or three times it's at a bar that he could not pass getting carded in at the time because, like, we were such a drunk. Yeah, he no, he really took because a he was like turn, 19 yeah. years old and he was jamming better than pretty much anyone at the time. Oh, yeah, and we were great. going to the yeah. House of Blues where it was 21 to get in. Yeah, he yeah, he, he turned it, he turned into a dark tunnel, didn't he? Like he went down. I have a no dark, idea. Dark path. But his first couple albums were freaking mm. amazing. I, I think he had a lot of personal uh, substance abuse issues, if I'm being honest. Would not uh, shock let's me. see. Would yeah, we'll get back me. to this. We, this is what we do for the 10 minutes in between from here on <laughs> out. The rest of the way, we're going to play. Is, is there a horse race today? <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yes. Thank you, Tony. Tony, you said it. Amen, brother. Stevie what? Ray Vaughan ripoff. That's what Kenny Wayne Shepherd was. He even had to have the middle name in there to just bite even on Stevie Ray Vaughan's Absolutely. name. But, but listen, it, if right. you can pull it off, though, it's still impressive. Like, Take yes, on me is aha, Absolutely. Grandma. Especially in the first album, he was a Stevie yes. Ray Vaughan ripoff, oh, but, yeah, but he did it you know well. What? If there's somebody to bite, to, though, SRV's He was able to do it. SRV's a god, dude. He was. But SRV was also inspired by like Jimi Hendrix. I mean, yeah, how yeah. many times did he yeah, cover he's, Jimi he's Hendrix? The only white dude that ever played like that. Let's be honest. And then Kenny he Wayne bit, Shepherd did. He bit off of every blues player ever, but yeah. he he made it uh, presentable. 
Stevie Ray Vaughan was also, but he was amazing. He was. He was. I hate his, his Elma Combo concert. If you ever watched that on DVD or Blu-ray, it is just incredible. Chills. That Texas Slut album is retarded. Sorry, I can't say the R word anymore. Wow. Take me on the ha. Samantha Fox poster. Wow. What? That's a deep cut. She had that like raccoon hair. I she remember. Hot, maybe, but she had raccoon hair. I remember watching a video of Steve Ray Vaughan playing with with Albert King. And Albert King started playing and then Steve Ray Vaughn like started doing his thing and Albert King looks over and he's like, Holy crap, what is going on there? Like out like out of Albert King's league type stuff. I've never seen was... anybody look make uh, a guitar look like an extended body part more than Stevie Ray Vaughn. Yeah. But the people in the chat are getting yeah. offended, folks. Two hundred and thirty <laughs> of you. Thank you for joining. Um let's do it, folks. Uh race four let's do it. is eight minutes out. Tim is it? It's Tim's race, right? Oh my, my goodness! There's something going on here. Get your shit together, Tim. We haven't had a winner yet. Get, give give me give me your quick thoughts, and I, I I've got an idea, but I want to hear your thoughts. Yeah, so I'll it's start. Number one, one, number one, number one, the first horse, Mary of Soul. I have I think this horse a lot of miles. Huge, Thank you, Bobby. This horse has a huge pace advantage. Um, it will be the pace setter. I think the pace will hold up. I think he's going to beat all the other horses. What is even the the number on this horse right now? It's two to Talking, one. It's uh, the favorite. The one oh, Mary of the... Soul, right? Yeah. Mary of Soul. Yeah. So that's my first horse. Remember me. Fernando de la Cruz. So my next horse here is uh, Future Flay. We're talking about going six Labor furlongs. Flay. Sits just off the pace. Ideal situation here. Um, that is my second horse. And you're getting a good number. Opening number was uh, 15 to 1. Obviously with three scratches that came down. Now he's 9 to 1. My third horse here, Banned from Midway. Uh, currently sitting at seven to one. So I'm trying to find some value here. This is a horse that does close. So I think a couple horses are going to sit on the pace and maintain. There's going to be a few that fall back. And I think remember, sorry, banned from midway, the eight horse is going to be one that sweeps in and ends up taking. I could probably go on and say the nine is my fourth horse, but I'll, I'll yield to El Ombre for the next. No, I like the one and the eight. And my third choice okay. is the four. The four, I, yeah, I could see that for sure. I would be on any other night at a turfway so far this season. I'd be heavier on the one mm -hmm. because I think the pace is there, right? Yep. You do agree the pace is the one horse, right? The pace is the one horse. I I completely agree. I don't know if so Tim the, agrees. The eight. I agree. The eight's the big. The eight's got the biggest closing stride. It feels like. Yep. So that's your price. Is the eight? Uh, the four seems like maybe just kind of. Overall, yeah. the safest play if you're going to box or key or something. But yeah, man, yeah. I, I I think the one could win here. The one could be it could be a race where he punches out early and it's over. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, Sean. Hope you're feeling better. By the way, I'm glad you're yeah, not seriously. on here. Last time you tried to come on here, sick. You were seriously scaring me. Yeah, I hope you're much better, man. You didn't see me coming on from the hospital bed. Take it easy, bro. There's a whole bunch of people in the chat. Bouncing up the seven. Malatot likes him. Charles B likes him. The wind flat out. I think there was someone else up there. Aaron, Aaron Reed, Reed just seven. chimed in too. Aaron Reed, new name, by the way. Welcome in, Aaron Reed. Aaron Reed, welcome in. Love to see it. SPN has him as the second number for race four. So, yeah. My sleeper I, is the six, baby. Bobby Flay, if you're going to do it. Yeah, that's that's my number Labor two Flav. horse. Flav of Flav. I can't get there though. I'm sorry. I'm done with him. Not uh, if you want. If you're forcing a price just to play price plays, fine. No, I'm looking at I pace. Think you could go like a one. But you don't. Who is it, Umbre? You're saying you don't like. I, I I like the six as a price play only, but I don't think it's a reality. Really? Or, or like Todd just said, six across the board, maybe something like that, and maybe you get you know something. I like the six better than the seven, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Um, People are jumping yeah, they're, all they're over the seven. The seven. I, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I need to take another look. Anyone taking the seven, go ahead and say in the chat why. Because I think. Yeah, I'm curious too. The seven is sort of like non plus to me. 
I've got him in the middle. Yep, mid packer. Mid packer. I mean, wouldn't be shocked if he's a try hits the try if you want to right. him or something, but for a win right. bet, wow. So let's see. Okay, so Aaron six has so a seven has speed uh, fastest speed figure on synthetics says Todd. Yeah. I, okay. That's where I'm coming from. Fair enough. Fair enough. The gentleman I still don't see it on the side. Man, in no, the no, fourth no, race, professional job. Professional job. The trust the profits pick is going to be a one dollar trifecta key that is not oh. boxed. A one dollar trifecta key, one with four six eight for six dollars. Wow, look at that! One with four six eight. So the one has to hit the top position. The one is the Win. one is winning. The Lock and low, baby. I like it, man. The comment section doesn't like that very much, I don't think, based well, on what okay. I've seen them say so far. We're either right or wrong. I, I agree, yeah. though. I mean, BMAC is with us on this, I would say, based on what he's placing for an exacta box, 148. Obviously, he's boxing that, so he's expecting the one to fall out any We've been place, talking. But... It's, it's been very jockey-centric, and... De La Cruz, right. baby. De La Cruz. Let's De La go. Cruz. Hopefully it's we get a $6 wager. Involved. Yeah, it's a $1 key. Yeah, that's key. true. I'm sorry. A, yeah, $1, one dollar key. One right. with the 468, right? So, yes. One on top and those three horses have to one I of those three it. horses have to be second in. Yeah. Why not? Couldn't have done it better myself, Tim. I just did. You know. <laughs> Hit it. And here's the thing, babe. Everybody who's got a lot of opinions in the chat, and that's what we're here for. But you see it. People are coming strong on the seven. And I don't think any of the three of us see the seven. Mm -hmm. I've seen some chatter on the nine. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't get past the one. It was hard for me to get past the one to even invite the four into the conversation. But then beyond the four, I can't get there. I can't I can get see to the any of them. Four, because Corrales is there, and we're talking right. about a six-horse field, and Corrales is the best jockey. Well, if it was honestly, opinion. if it was my bet, I'd probably be betting a one-four box. Oh yeah, just and send just, it like that. Yeah, send it. Which By is, the way, when Tim said hit it, I immediately thought about Rod Base. Just throwing that out there based on our previous conversation. Rob Base and DJ Easy Rock. Yeah, we'll get I back want to, to that after right the race, now. which, by the way, is way it more fun than two. horse racing for me. It takes two, it takes baby. It takes two. It takes two. Great song. The two, by the way, got scratched. What about Joy so. and Pain? Joy and Pain, just as good of a song. Same band. Really? Joy. Oh yeah. Pump it up. Pump, oh, it, up. Yeah. pump, it, up. Oh, pump it up. Sunshine. What else? What else? Come on. And rain. There you go. So you're gonna get some bad karaoke versions of songs. We're gonna do that all night. We're gonna do that all night. And by the way, Chase, if you're still in the chat, he's a hip hop guy. I've noticed. Oh, all right then. Let's go deep cut me some hip hop too. Deep I mean, we'll cut mob him deep. Some we'll go. We'll go. Uh, Bone thugs in harmony. What do you want to do? I'm I'm old school hip hop though. What are I we like doing? Old What's old school? school? Mob deep's old school. Now, if if you want to if you want to go back to old school, I mean, you have to go all the way back and start with you know, Melly Mel and the Furious Five. Five is, it all starts Blow. with Melly Mel and the Furious Five, but from there, a lot of people leave out my man Curtis Blow. You cannot yeah, leave just, out just, Curtis Blow. It's, just, it's not. Seriously. Oh, come on, that's like that's like Fat Boy stuff. It's like uh, no, it's not <laughs> Fat Boys. I mean, that's come like on, come on. Uh, Curtis Blow is should have been in the Fat Boys. No, I mean, come on, Run DMC. Come on. All those guys. Oh, Run DMC is fine. I mean, they're great. The first. And by the way, they're loading up. Got a little bit. By the uh, way, they're, they're stirring around. Wu Tang, Kevin, you're, you're on it, baby. Now we're talking. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We'll get back. Trish, we'll get back to this Britney Spears is the queen of pop angle, too. Wow, that's a wild ride. Since we talked up Pump Up the Maybe Jam. Maybe the worst vocalist ever. Similar song, different. Different the musical game, act. Man. Groove is in the heart. Care oh, to name yeah. the band on that one? Let me go. Groove is in hands the heart. free too, baby. They're loaded it's, up though. We're gonna go. Free. We're gonna get this and we're off. First. They're and off the to the race. We need this one horse one time. The nine from uh, the so outside said, it, "Give me the lead." 
And the one down on the rail said, not so fast. You got to go a little further. And I'm taking That's this right. rail trip. You're not getting the rail. Oh, In between one, those one, horses is the four gin and the race, stand. Guys. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate your patronage. It's another yeah. link back. And it's three horses across the track with the six, the seven. And I can't make out the other one. And it's a little bit back to the trailer at this point. But up front is still the one, Mary of So. Our horse is on the lead, Kenny Hoded, Jen and Sin in between horses. Outside those two is that nine horse who's starting to drop a little bit. The eight from the outside, Ben yep. from Midway, starting to make a move. Mary of Soul is giving up the lead to the four horse, Jen wow. of Sin. Jen, Jen of Soul wants the lead. Answer back, Fernando. 46 Come on second back. half mile. De La Cruz, re-break. Re-break on the rail. No, it ain't happening. He's not, done. Not happening. Not four happening. He's done. Hang it up. Four and eight. Four, eight, seven. And the one, it, the like. one is dying. Yeah, the one is falling well, back. He's going to finish dead dying. last. Completely smoked there. Four, eight. Hey, good call. Only spending six bucks, baby. You're going to make me the bad guy tonight because I'm, you know. Yep. And the seven everyone was calling out there was lengths behind with our one. Four and the eight. Way Definitely back. the two better horses. Did anybody yeah, get a piece back. of that thing? I mean, the four was the obvious other choice. We talked Someone about did. left and right. I do remember someone had four eight set Keith, across. Keith hit it. Nice work, Keith. Keith hit it. Listen to Keith. Oh yeah, there we go. By the way, check out Keith's video this week. Look at that with the very infamous Wolf of Oaklawn, who's putting out oh, yeah. some uh, incredible AI generated photography on his <laughs> Twitter. It's incredible. Yeah, it's fun uh, to watch. Oh, wow. Right at the wire, taking stabs at the formula. Isn't it past your bedtime? <laughs> Fair play. Fair play. I got in late. I'll stay a little bit later. Just a Bobby Flay got fourth there. Let's see. I, I'm getting a little cranky, though. Good job, Let's... Keith. Yeah, he's got to go night-night. He's even an hour behind go me, night -night. too. It's only 6.30 yeah. where he's at. Yeah. Tone woke, by the way. Maybe the biggest uh, criminal in the Dino. history. I mean, no offense. I mean, it wasn't his fault, but he released like three songs in a very short period of time. And I'm going to say the yes. late 80s. And they were all exactly the same song. Did anybody notice that? Yes. You had Funky Absolutely. Cold Medina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was his other one? The I mean, they were the exact same song. I mean, there was no difference. Wild thing. Wild, Wild thing. same exact song. I guarantee it was the same tempo. Yes. You can't convince same me there inflection, was a third one. Garbage. Yeah. That guy is AIDS. All right. All right. All right. Hey, Formula, Wild you were talking. Thing. You were talking about Tektronic and a couple of those others. What do you? What about? Do you remember So to So? Back to Life. Keep <sighs> uh, keep on moving. Yeah, I know yeah, that. Yeah, that sounds familiar. I do remember Soul to Soul. I, it it doesn't ring. Like I, the song doesn't ring in my head, but yeah. By Come the way, on. no. Uh, Todd's talking Vanilla Ice. Can somebody name a song by Vanilla Ice besides Ice Ice Baby, without no hands go hands free? <laughs> Come on, no, no, that's a challenge. Free. Can't touch this. It was the Black Vanilla Ice? MC Hammer, same guy. Yep. Put on a pair of. Uh, big stupid parachute pants and flail your stupid legs around like an idiot you suck <laughs> both of you and he went bankrupt too after all those millions that's the yeah, what an idiot thing. i like big butts that is uh what's his name sir mix a lot sir mix a lot yes. yes. terrible buttermilk biscuits terrible mm. that guy sucks that's loonies baby got favorite. five on it come on Huh? Formula has no idea that song existed. Nope. No idea. Way too white. <laughs> Looney's bad. That was a joint, dude. Come on. You know I got five on it, don't you? Come on. One of, one of the kids in my class was actually singing that song when we were outside the other day. I got wow. five on it? Yes. Great song, dude. It is. Great song. I was just surprised he knew it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a late 90s joint right there, son. All right, so uh, going back to uh, early rap, 
So you mentioned uh, Curtis Blow slash the Fat Boys that whole era. No, I I, I, I was never into the Fat Boys. I didn't say the Fat I know, Boys. I'm kidding, you, dude. I mean, you put him in with the Fat Boys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like that shit's stupid. You can't even. But that. it's look. It's I'll, I'll tell you one. I'll, I'll I, tell you I, one. I that it was the roots. Look, here's the it thing the about the Fat Boys. Boys. The Fat Boys was the beatbox crap. But there's a yeah. difference in that, <laughs> and and somebody. Wait, wait, wait. Disorderlies came up, dude. I learned <laughs> about $5 million at Disorderlies. Disorderlies. Incredible. I mean, this is, we're reaching new grounds in the long <laughs> Citizen Kane, Vertigo, the Disorderlies. <laughs> Public Enemy. Now we're talking. Now we're mm. talking. Biz Marquee. Nah, Biz Marquee's a gimmick. You go to Bismarck, he might as well but go Wesley. Anyway, Willis. Umbre, I, mean, I was going to say that there's a huge difference in what the Fat Boys did and what like Dougie Fresh. That was the the okay. true the fresh beatbox. Crew. You know that oh that was God. that was not like the you know the Fat Boys kind of stuff. I mean, Dougie Fresh was the man. All right, all right. Yeah. What I'll about go. Mister Boombastic? Oh, Anyone come got on. that? That's, that's silly. Throw that that's out there. Silly talk. Bring it. What about Boogie Down Productions, dude? EPMD, EPMD, Public Enemy, Wu Tang. You guys heard these things? We do. We're talking about Vanilla Ice and Biz (laughs) Markey. You were looking for old stuff. You got it. You opened Pandora's box. Fat boys and disorderlies. That's incredible. (laughs) That's KRS One. Now we're talking. Keep bees in the house, baby. What? What about that? There it is. Since you Radiohead just nailed it, this guy clearly has great taste in music. His name's Radiohead, for Christ's sakes. It all changed with NWA, dude. NWA changed the game, son. I mean, incredible. I'll Ends agree with, with that. Attitudes, incredible album. Uh, straight out of Compton, changed the game. And yeah. then you had each of them. Put out then you had Ichiro. Coming. Came over from Japan. Ichiro Suzuki. Yeah. <laughs> Slapping the ball all over the place. Method Man, one of the Wu. I mean, come on. Mm. Who's your favorite Wu Tang guy? Come on, you guys name it. Dirty old bastard. Old dirty. Old dirty. I'm gonna go Ray Kwan's my favorite Wu Tang clan mm, guy, but there you go. What about Dr. Dre the Chronic though? Yeah, I mean, it's I mean that was a, that. that was a game changer. Wasn't game it? changer. Definitely. Yeah. 36 Chambers by Wu-Tang, Game Changer. Ah, Winter Hill, the Sugar Hill Gang. There you go. That's gangster. That's original gangster rap. You're right. Hotel, Motel. I mean, that's bordering on fat boy stuff, but we're, we're making moves there. But, you know, but that's forward. that's like the genesis, though. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those those it. guys were the start. Those guys were the Curves start. Blow and all that. I got I, Who's the last good rapper? Mm. I'm going to say it's uh, Kendrick Lamar is really good. Really? And maybe I'm getting old. Well, I haven't heard anybody. I mean, what was the white idiot that was on the Super Bowl that, or uh, whatever game that was? The Thanksgiving Day game? Post Malone? In Detroit? I wanted to kill myself the whole time. Is that who that no, was? No, it's not Post Malone. No, same thing. Uh, yeah, I mean. Anybody who uses a pitch tuner the whole time they perform as oh, a gosh. piece of garbage. Yeah. Pile of shit. Horrible. Cypress Hill's great. Yeah. Yeah. Love to see it. Well, ghetto boys. Mm. Shoddy. Who's the white dude rapper? <laughs> He's young enough. White rapper that played at the uh, Thanksgiving Day game for the Lions. It wasn't Jack Harlow, was it? Yes. That dude is worse than I hot, hate Jack Harlow. Garbage. Jack Harlow is a Louisville fan, a Louisville guy and a Louisville fan. I, I hate the, him. Uh, it's okay. In Detroit, we have Kid the, Rock uh, too, so we're just as guilty. Yeah. Yeah. Please, yeah. Don't feel bad. We had Kid Rock, the yeah. worst human being has ever existed. Don't worry. Existed. Yeah. We've got you. Jack beat Harlow we was Rock. a public embarrassment he, for himself, he, his family, and all of guy. humanity. I hate him. Oh, yeah. What a, I mean, what a <laughs> no talent pile of shit. Yeah. And if you like him, you are garbage too. Or you just have no music. I think taste. Trusty likes him. <laughs> of course, Trusty would love him. Oh, Jelly Roll. Do you guys know about this fat slob oh, with face tattoos? Oh, yeah. I mean, you got to be. 
you got to be just. I mean, this jelly roll is honestly like it's the creed of 2024. <laughs> it's the creed. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, it's the same music as Creed, except even 15 years more stale. Creed was already a fifth generation Pearl Jam ripoff. And then you had Nickelback, who was a 20th generation ripoff of them. And now you've got uh, whatever, Jelly Roll, fat, disgusting, tattoo face, pile of shit. So, All right, Umbre. So, so being from you where you're from, what, what are yeah. your thoughts on Slim Shady? I love him. Epic. He's a legend. Love one him. And him great. He's one of the all time greats. I, I agree. He is, dude. I mean, it, I, he's he's real. Kid Rock's a fake, by the way, born Rip and raised. Artist. Holy crap. Formula. Mm. Yes, sir. Trish, we're not born even answering raised, that question. Born and raised Robert Ritchie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His father owns like five car dealerships. Dealership the magnet. Detroit. Yeah. The guy is not a cowboy. No, he's not a hillbilly. No, he's not a right wing whack. Whatever he think, he thinks he's Ted Nugent or whatever he thinks he is. He sucks. He's terrible. Yeah, he's a bad person. He's fake. Yeah. He's phony. His music is worse than freaking AIDS. Yeah, because he and, fronts uh, himself as like a rock star who rips off riffs from other rock oh, stars. Yeah, he samples. Like, he doesn't just... even play instruments. It, but he, well, he, he can play every like instrument. He, he gets up on stage and, uh, yeah, you know, plays like a in. snare drum that's not even mic'd. It's a yeah. pile of shit. Yeah, he's pretty awful. He is a Detroit guy. He also has AIDS. All right. Marla in the house. Hello, Marla. Good to see you. Marla, what's up? Yeah, dude, you came in at the wrong time, Marla. I'm in here <laughs> ranting. If you bring up Kid Rock or, uh, Nickelback. Nickelback. Things are going yeah. sideways. Beastie Boys. Now, Todd, you're talking, baby. Beastie Boys are great. Guys, I am going to have to drop. It's time for me to cook dinner. It's bedtime. I apologize. It is bedtime. You were right. Right at the wire was right. It is bedtime. So you I do have to it. see you. Good luck the rest of the way. Thanks for joining. All right. We got to go. Thank you guys for having. We got to start making some money here. We're down. We do. Peace out, Formula. It's time. Time to get serious. Love it. Beastie Boys' best album, Todd. Go ahead. This is controversial. Controversial. A lot of opinions. Right at the wire, you chased him off, babe. He did. He was very offended. Told him it was bedtime, and he. Yep. Then he took offense, and he got all upset, and he walked away. So we are yet to win a race yet. Do you know I have a, a first pressing of a uh, fight for your right? <laughs> you do? Yes. Do I've, I've had, the, the one thing, of, the one thing about all my old music is I kept all my albums and I've got a lot of early rap and early stuff like that and everything. And I, I kept it all. I've got like, I've got like Whitney's first album and all of those. And it's just like, I've got a bunch of first presses that I just kept throughout the years when we went to CDs. And now that they're back in, it's just like, it's crazy that they came back. Exactly. I think I, I, think I saw License I to Heal. Was, that, that was a crazy album. I, I was listening to a podcast. And it was like from maybe 2022. And it was, um, they said it was the first time um, vinyl had outsold CDs ever. Yeah. And I was like, wow, like, that's crazy that that whole world came full circle with, uh, you know, it's it's still a joke compared to like streaming, but pretty wild, pretty wild nonetheless. Oh, now Trish is talking some sense. Jay Z reset. Guys, I got one more race left in me. The family <laughs> is right. not He's ready for dinner yet. I don't know whose race it is. Is it mine? It who, is yours. Who even knows? Yeah. It he is tried to go away from the lounge. He couldn't. We have 250 Let's people. Pull me on. back in. And Sean, by the way, no, nobody answered who who did Groove is in the heart. So I had to Groove come back to see boom, someone answer boom, that. Boom, 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 That's boom, it. Boom, boom, boom. I know the song. The groove, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. Is it CNC awesome. Music Factory? Nope. That's nice close, try though. Satisfaction on the moon. Yeah, once it's in your head, it's in your head, right? Yeah. <laughs> I want 
couldn't dance. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. <laughs> but it's catchy nonetheless. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you for that earworm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they got the slide so thing bad. going. <laughs> if we get uh, $50 worth the, uh, what do you call them? What do you call the chats? Super chats? I'll go get oh, an yeah. acoustic guitar and, and take a... Uh, <laughs> You'll do an acoustic Wait, version uh, of Groove is in the Heart by... No, oh, no, dude. I don't know about that, but I'll play anything. <laughs> I'll play anything live. Bobby yeah. McFerrin, dude. Oh That's a happy. Don't worry, be happy. Go ahead. Marla bringing a B-52s reset. Yeah, dude, they had a ton of legendary stuff. Oh, yeah. Final countdown. Was that Europe, I believe? Or I they that is to... Europe. Nice play. Nice. Thank you. Since you Radiohead, I'll talk stripper music. Bring it. Let's see if we can, uh, <laughs> what? Stripper music. We know what you, we're doing. You already covered Cherry Pie, so slow that's, jam. that's number well, one. Well, it's either slow jams like uh, R&B or it's, yeah, Cherry Pie by Warrant or uh, you know, whatever. I want to fuck you like an animal, my nine-inch nails, whatever you're going to do, any of that stuff. Yeah, Closer, right? Yeah, great song. That is a great song. Closer and Super Un... Sorry, not Closer. Um, Downward Spiral and Super Unknown were released on the same day. Wow. Pretty nutty. My Was favorite stripper song is I? Honey by Mariah Carey. <laughs> by the way, unpopular unpopular uh, opinion here. Mariah Carey, the hottest woman that's ever lived. Not now. Let's go 15 years ago, Mariah Carey. No. Gorgeous, dude. Pass. Not, not saying that. Not the hottest that's ever lived. Wow. Oh, she's perfect. Wow. Maybe I maybe I like her voice too. She's much, up but... there. I'm I'm a big Salma Hayek fan. Oh, now you're talking. Oh yeah, yeah. It's that's hard to argue with. And we know that Tim likes Tim likes the Hispanic women. I know? got him. I guess he. <laughs> Millie Vanilli. And it, dude, I can talk circles about Millie Vanilli. I got I got news for you. Love it. He, I, I'll talk about Millie Vanilli for the next two years. They got a raw deal. The, I'm going to defend the uh, braided headed idiots. Absolutely. Me too. It, and I think we're all is, in agreement. It's funny. No, it's, I mean, it's just completely absurd notion. It is. It's an absurd notion that they like got busted for being not the real performers or whatever. Yep. Like it wasn't them on the recording. Like everybody that sings now. Yes. Come on, dude. Like, Absolutely. Like, honestly, honestly, somebody brought up uh, Britney Spears or whatever. It's literally Britney Spears layered with seven digital pitch correction shit. Yep. And by the way, like seven backup vocalists. I don't understand why Millie Vanilli didn't just come out and say, screw just put you. Put them on like a 10% level of the overall vocals. Yep. And it was them. I mean, it, it's the same thing with like Jack <sighs> Harlow with his seven layers of trash. It's the same Girl, line. you know it's I true. Just, I would have just been like, yeah. You know, maybe we had some Motown people that could actually sing singing the songs, but we were on there. Yeah. It's a much better defense than, yeah, you're right. We were fake. And, you know, and then the one guy killed himself on drugs or whatever. Whatever, dude. They got a bad rap. Extremely tragic. Was unnecessary. I, I, I like the music didn't kill myself. myself on Sorry. I always liked a little Millie Vanilli. Hell yeah. Millie Vanilli, baby. What was it? Come on. Give me one hook. Girl, Girl, you, you know it's, it's true. true. Girl, you know it's true as a joint, dude. <laughs> Got to change your Come attitude on. or something like that. Girl, you know it's true. Little auto tune going there too. Yeah. Hell the five yeah, scratched. Minutes. Five scratched and race. Five, five is scratched. That, yes. I did not right. have that before. That must have been. A Tim, give me a breakdown real quick. We got to get through this. So we can get back to the Millie Vanilli chat. Where am I at here? By the way, Three I would also like to. Speaking, I saw the word Abby in Todd's post. Sorry to distract, but has anybody watched Love on the Spectrum lately? Because that's another topic I'd like to touch on. It's incredible. My wife watches that, actually. Oh, I have not incredible. watched it yet. It She's is watched incredible. A Absolutely I heard it's really good. Incredible. All right. So really quickly. Yeah, you better talk me off of that, dude. That could go real bad. But I'll try. So I, I think I think the eight is a deserving favorite here. And let me look. I don't know. The eight is actually not the favorite right now, but I thought would be it's seven, to two. seven to two up from five to two. And at that, I would be like hammer the win money on the eight marmalade sky because I think this horse wins for fun. I like I the so. seven underneath. Here's Adam Biscitza. 
the UK biscuit getting up for his first ride of the night. This horse is second off a layoff. That was a decent run from the back of the pack. And if you remember all night long, we've had horses winning from the back of the pack. Yeah. Gentlemen, ring the bell because this is something that I see. And when I say it, we've had payouts. Disco first time biscuit. blinkers. First time blinkers. He's the trainer's one for one. I know it's not a big sample size, but that horse won at $42 win pay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. he's first time blinkers on the seven. Love it. Underneath, I'd have to put the one reactive as the horse I had third. Tyler Connor getting up. I like the rail position for this horse inside. He's been outside, 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 outside in the middle. And, and it's just like this horse is going to get a good trip and I think can be a part on this good dolphin horse. The two is a favorite right now. I'm a fade city. I, I, I don't see the two. It's it's like, okay, just like I've been talking before, this horse is coming off a layoff, hasn't raced decent. I don't see any scent. Yes, I. it's just like that two I was talking about a race or two ago. It's like, you you got to show me first before you're getting my money. I think it's sucker money. I'm 8-7-1. Wow. 8 seven, one in that order? Yes. Tim, you just talked me through the same order. I was going to give El Hombre the only other thing. So I'll point out a couple things here. So the eight looks like it's going to be the pace in a race where, well, we've got three unknowns. Three unknowns out of eight horses, so three firsters. Um, it looks like that's the pace, although this isn't what I would technically call a pace horse. It's just one that is set closer to the pace uh, previous horses. Like this, the seven at my number two, just like you did. A little bit of closing power there um and i i do like the one that is my third horse and, and i'm gonna try to dig a little deeper and say okay are there any firsters here that could surprise and or shock me i think the only one that i'm gonna give any sort of credence to here would be the nine horse uh purely based on uh the trainer being correas and the jockey being cannon Declan Cannon. I think that combo as an underneath play, if you're going to look for any firsters, that would be the one that I look at. In terms of workout times, they're all pretty even. The 9 and the 4 running 49 second for furlongs, not too shabby. Not a whole lot you can look at for firsters, but you know that that might help. Um, yeah, the two, the one thing I do like about the 2 is that he does drop in class, but... right. It's hard to talk myself into much more than that. I, I'm totally with you. I got 871, and if you like a first dirt in a race where there's three of them out of eight horses, I'd throw one at the nine. Yeah. One out of seven. the firsters, I, I was six over the nine because of works oh, yeah. and everything. And and the the dam there has had a couple of runners, although nothing ah. uh, nothing nothing outstanding. Haven't hit the board first out. Like but five uh, for a long workout th th for the uh, for the nine. It's it's uh, been the first first time. This is the the first full out of the nine. Okay. The first full of, of the, for the dam of the nine. You guys both like the eight over the seven, huh? I do. I do. Okay. I do. All right, I'll take your advice. I mean, it's your call. No, no. If you want to overrule, I totally get that. We we've, no, we've all been in that boat. Yep. Yes, we have. And since you guys are being giant pusses about spending money here, yeah, we're saving it all for you. I I just haven't had a race. I I had something I felt strongly about, so I didn't no, want I, to I'm go crazy. You. I'll spread a little bit. I it, to me, it's either. Just hammer the eight set. And by the way, let's see what the what is it? it might just be it might just I'm behoove us to bet the eight seven box with that seven to two and three to one, folks. I mean, that's actually not a bad I bad mean, play at all. Looking at if they were, yes, and that's good odds, folks. It is great odds. What, what are the uh, the wills? So yeah, the ex the exact is right now eight seven is paying fourteen thirty five and seven eight is paying fifteen eleven for two. What's we doing? What are we doing? It's either I'm that or I'm spreading. <laughs> it's either that or I'm spreading. I, I'm I will spreading... say this, and and I hate I hate to say it. Damn, that two looks good on the track. No, oh, don't say it. I'm not. I'm not even listening to that. I'll be honest. <laughs> Cause I mean, either I mean, you, you heard me. I was fading the two, but two looks good. Yeah, you got to take a stand. Yep, got to cut it. Travis somewhere. Mock, we are race five at Turfway Park, and we are going to do this. God damn it! I know that guy. <laughs> 
I got it locked and or loaded. Just let me know when you're ready. Let's do a, a five dollar exact Wait. about seven eight. All right, so you are you Yes, and now the official bet. Five dollar exacta box, seven eight, ten dollar bet. Ship it. Well, enough. Send it in. This is, you know, I, I like what you did here because this is the perfect race to execute something like that on, where it's, it's a that field that's chopped down to eight. Ways. Yeah. It's either that or I was going to add in the seven, or the one, three, and nine underneath, and then next thing you know, you're betting a fifty cent bet to try to make something but i really do so i mean we all agreed that the eight seven were the top two the three of us did anyway so five dollar exact a box seven eight and that's a ten dollar total spend yeah the only other way i would have went was i liked the seven to straight up win but what was it about the seven that you like so much more than the eight i'm very curious because both tim and i were saying sorry tim's over here uh we're saying that we like the eight better but you favor the seven i'm very curious Honestly, mostly Adam. I think he, he's been the hot hand, and I thought the numbers were close enough to where – let's see. The, the eight's the, the pace horse, it. right? The eight's the pace horse, and the pace horse has not been doing well tonight. That was the other factor, so I don't know. That's that's Six why half. I couldn't settle on that, and I kind of went okay. with both of them, which are now both five to two along with the two horse. So we got – Three horses co-favoriting at five to two. Good betting. Is <coughs> anybody I like, like it, though? Is anybody loving a horse outside of this? Uh, outside of the seven or eight. Marv likes the nine. He also had eight one seven. Oh, eight, eight with the one seven nine. Yeah. yeah. He had eight one seven nine. Uh, yeah, I think that's a mistype at the end there. Unless he meant to do nine one seven. Yeah, eight. he put the nine below it. Okay. So it seems it's, it's it seems logical, but you know, not not everything's logical in horse racing. You know, <laughs> never is. Come on, much like um, Millie Vanilli, not always logical. Not always logical, girl. You know it's true. <laughs> you need to change your attitude. Dude, they had like they had like ten hit ten hits, dude. They had like five. There was a whole era of like those dudes that danced around like that. That yep. Remember, it was like Ziggy Marley and all that. Like, everybody was doing it. They like danced around. That's every boy band since. Hey. Yeah, but that was a little different than boy bands. I yeah, mean, you had new kids and all that. Yeah. Which, there's uh, two of them. I got pictures of the formula with new kids in the block yeah. attire on. No. So just, just remember, Ombre, when I give you my when I give you my horse picks, baby, don't forget my number. Tim. What are we doing? Sorry. Baby, Little Millie Vanilli. Sorry. We were talking Millie Vanilli. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my God. I forgot. My I was yeah. <laughs> Getting flashbacks now. Whew. Got some Debbie Gibson resets for oh, us as yeah. well. Oh, yeah. Debbie Gibson. At the same time. Speaking of singers who couldn't sing at all. Yeah. There's a few of them. She had that hat on Lots of in the video. She's always holding she it cute. on. She was cute. She could perform in a mall, just like Tiffany. It's like Tiffany. <laughs> I think that? we're alone now. Yeah, yeah, bad Beatles bite. And then, uh, no, not Beatles. Yeah, Beatles. That is that's it's sadly a Beatles, a Beatles cover. song. Not not their best. No, that's like I want to hold your hand era Beatles back when they <clears throat> before it is. they became musicians. You can drive my car. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, it was a different which, Beatles. Time. Which, by the way, all Beatles haters out there, I'm with you if that's your sample size. It was a different but, time. They were coming the out of the fifties. Yeah, that's oh, different. totally. Dude. I want to hold your hand. Yeah. Shit, trash, bro. The remember, horses are re the starting gate and are starting oh, to load. I thought I hated them too. Snuck into a that Debbie is. Gibson concert in high school. No, you didn't, Todd. You made that up. Come on. We need more information. Did you guys hear yeah, the big controversy about Madonna? Madonna's concert a day or two ago. 
No. no. She had a controversy? She, real real quick, because the horses are loaded. She Everybody was standing. She started yelling at were somebody for swallow? sitting, and they were in a friggin' wheelchair. Wow. Wait, one more time. I was too busy yelling. Her she was yelling friends. at somebody during her concert. She was calling them out because they were sitting, and everybody was standing, oh. and the person was in a wheelchair. Isn't she yeah. 75? She's like 150. Come on. And we're all... There we go. Just slightly younger than Cher. Oh, the front. two is like a rocket. We love that the two is going to take the rail over our top two picks because the seven and eight, 40. right next to him, applying pressure. Exactly, and the eight's going to take the the easy trip. I think we're alone those two. now. And the one is coming up inside the eight and four. Got Behind that one, one it's still wide two. open, and the six is the one that's way far back. But they went to the quarter in 22.33 seconds, and up front, Princess is Olivia. The two horse still holds about a one-length lead. The seven is starting to be urged just a little bit, and outside that one, the eight marmalade sky is starting to circle both and make a move. Down on the rail, the one is going to look for room as they hit the stretch. They should be posting a halftime here, on. and it's 45.99. They're going fast. That two's going to fade. Eight. Here's our eight. Here come the one and the seven. The eight is looking pretty good hit as eight they hit the strong. top of the stretch. The eight marmalade sky sticks a nose in front. The two is still there but looks to be tiring. The Gucci, one Gucci. Looks, like, looks to have yeah, a yeah, little yeah. bit of momentum for <laughs> – getting up but no the two is still fighting on the one is going to make one more run but up front by about reverse. four or five links it's the eight two one and the seven didn't even get fourth by the way no, we just make seven. a lady or a lady marmalade re reset yeah. on that yeah come yes. on dude <laughs> it was right there right in front of your eyes no man. what was right there was we we're just talking beetles yeah but marmalade sky was job. running Lucy in the sky. Keep up. Lucy Lucy oh. in the sky references Marmalade Sky. Lucy. Marmalade came first. Marmalade is is way more Marmalade oh. is way more unique. You take Marmalade, you take that. You don't take Sky. There's way too many Sky songs. Up in the sky. So yeah, the best first was Lucy in the, the sky board. with diamonds references Marmalade Sky. Come on. You you're you're outclassed here. Mm. <laughs> okay, you might have me there. You might have me there. It, but it's oh god. Carson in I the like house. I, I like me better than you, though. That's really the 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 factor. You like what? The determining factor. I like me better than you, so that's the determining yeah, that's factor. True. Can't beat that. Carson, the fifth race just uh, finished, and we're waiting on it to go uh, go final. Aha. Uh -huh. Corey's back. His first chat entry is LSD. <laughs> Lucy back. in the sky he's with wonderful. diamonds. I think is what he's saying here. LSD. Yeah, absolutely. But because he, what else is that a reference to? He catches on. He catches on pretty quickly. He's a quick study. Yeah, we all got you. What the f are we on about? <laughs> it's a total we don't know. British, a uh, huge we British play. Love it, Carson. Yeah. What you on about? What the fuck are we on about? So, folks, we uh, we're actually not in horrible shape as we head into the last races. I just What's updated the bankroll. We're sitting at fifty-seven dollars with only three races left. So, let's hit it a little harder. Yeah, it's time to go. It's time to go. Speaking it of time, been rather I'm gonna, shocking tonight, hasn't it? Like I'm going to run and grab something a little heavier yeah. to sip on for these last three races. I'll be right back. You do that. You do that. Yeah. What's going on next? Carson, if you're up for hopping in, please do. You've got By the link. Means. If you're not feeling well, don't force it. I know, uh, you know, it's been a tough go for health for a lot of us. If you're up for it, yeah. by all means. Share my royalty can speak. <laughs> Penny royalty. I think she's talking about the British royals. I hope it's something about the. I would uh, rather talk about, uh, you know, 9 11 planes oh, crashing yeah. into buildings than uh, Royal. Or flat shit. earth theories. Yeah. If any of you are yeah, out there that want to really flat discuss earth that. Theories. Yeah, my God. Somehow uh, those pop up on my feed on, on Facebook. and That's died down now, right? I mean, since no. it's been proven without a sh beyond a shadow of a doubt a thousand times by a thousand different people there's idiots anybody there, believe in you. the flat earth please yeah by all means we'll i guarantee there's you. one person in the comment section we will support you 
No. <laughs> okay. Please okay. put it in there and feel confident that we will support you. Grandma is calling out Carson. Yep. Carson. She, she put out the bat you got signal. The invite. You're in if you want. I mean, the crowd needs you. Anna says, I need you. Yeah. I mean, Grandma wants you. So I think. If you feel like the- shit, stay out royalty as in the british royalty royalty conspiracy theory i think that's what she's getting on about and then we got just a big old yes from right at the wire apropos of everything yes alex has just become one of the he's a legend it's a legend alex let's let's play the game we were playing one hit wonder slash little known slash shitty pop music, whatever you want to do, go hip hop. But, uh, you know, anything we want to put in the chat, nerdy, uh, film. And by the way, the formula is a giant film nerd. Yeah. You're not going to get shit past him with that. Yeah. We'll see. We'll You're see. not going to get shit past me with music. I still have two, two songs out there that nobody has named the artist to, but go the ahead. Way. Do it again. I'm just going to throw that out there. You got to go hands free. Hands free, baby. Um, right. So we have Groove is in the Heart and oh, Heaven wow. or Las Vegas. Those Heaven two or Las Vegas, I swear, is Urge Overkill. It isn't? Nope. Nope. At least not the version. I, maybe, maybe they did a version of that. I I thought it was a different band, if I'm honest. You were impressed by my Space Hog reset, though, weren't you? I was impressed by that. I was in, impressed by the speed at which you pulled that. Oh, yeah. Because... Dude, it's on my... It's on my uh, I've got, I've got yeah. a couple... Uh... I think I, I think I have it. I have a chill list, which is what I listen to most. It's about a thousand songs. Uh-huh. And then I have a uh, a heavy list, uh-huh. which is like really my thrash metal and you know whatever. But then I have a list of like grunge centric stuff too, which has like Space Hog and like okay. Third Eye Blind and all that shit, like high school memory music. I guess. I don't. Know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what and, I remember uh, them from. Like eighty nine. In the meantime, my song. space hog's a good song. So. It's not bad. I I kind of liked it at the time, and then I'm like, nah. Yeah, it sort of faded little, from me, and a, then it it's it triggers memories now. You know what though? And here's a here's a deep admission that nobody's gonna like. Anybody who's a true grunge fan is not gonna like what I'm about to say. So sorry. Bring it. I can't listen to Nirvana anymore. I loved. It oh, when dude, it was I I was there. I loved in it when it was happening. I loved it when it was happening. Yep. Uh, Pearl Jam too, except I'll be honest, Eddie Vedder's solo music better than Pearl Jam. Oh, uh, interesting. But Pearl Jam tends, uh, it's unlistenable. It's so dated. You know what isn't think... dated? Alice in Chains and Soundgarden. They're still great. Yeah, Tool still great. In my Tool opinion. still great. Yeah, timeless. But Nirvana by 1996 was over still Nirvana. Great. By 1996, I was done with them. It was just donezo, donezo list. What do you actually do for work, hombre? Why? <laughs> Why are you doubting that I can be this. like a professional? He's a company coach? man. Yeah, that's right. Salary man. I am a... Uh, Japan reference. Supply chain management person for a large automotive... <sighs> plant Grandma. that you may have heard of a large automotive company yeah aren't you guys glad you asked isn't that exciting yeah, yeah. <laughs> by the way it, grandma yeah. you got it groove is in the heart delight delight dude. Delight. grandma is bringing it tonight but still no one has heaven or las vegas yet You're curious to hear when that cheating. comes up i'm close to cheating on that uh heaven or las vegas thing Razor sharp picks in the house. Razor. What's up, Razor? Razor knows who sang Heaven or Las Vegas. Am I right, Razor? Maybe Razor, not. if I had to guess, Razor's a little <laughs> younger than us, but Yeah, probably. Just talk little. to me about some workless one hit wonders, Razor. This is the this is the uh topic to fall in between. Yeah. We're killing time in between races. One Hit Wonders, shit music from the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Overrated artists across the board. Things that time has forgotten. Razor has jumped in. uh, He's talking about Danny Carey, Corey. 
Yeah, Danny oh, Carey's good. Oh my God, Danny Carey. Yes, we will talk about Razor got a silk metal. source. Yeah, baby, we're in it too, man. Yeah, man. Silks went all in with promotions, and you know we're all in, and it's we're all excited about it, dude. Yep. Did you get a good draw on that uh, silk horse? We have one. We've uh, we've minted two, and I think we have one with pretty legit. Tim, wouldn't you say pretty yeah. legit potential? I. I think both a race. I think one yeah. one is probably like a, a, a solid allowance class for sure at, at minimum and could yeah. be more. And and the other one place. is yet to be determined. There she is from the depths. Ladies of and illness. gentlemen. The people demanded it, by the way. So many people calling out for Carson. Please join Carson. <laughs> from the depths. People are illness. like, you guys haven't won money since Carson left. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's been a I rough. didn't win money last week either. So it's <laughs> been rough. I hear that. By the way, Schism by Tool. If you aren't mm-hmm. familiar with their work, just listen to that song. And don't you don't even have to like it. Just listen to the music, musician yeah. craftsmanship of that song, and you'll yeah. uh, you you can even dislike it. Two tracks earlier, mm-hmm. the patient. That's my favorite song by Tool. That album is my favorite. My God. Are we on a weather delay or what's happening? Um, no, oh, we're just on a music delay. <laughs> Have you been listening, Carson? It's been wild with uh, Groove is in the Heart. We're doing... Uh, Knocked out some d Talked a little Milli Vanilli, some one-hit wonders. And what no one DJ no Magic one knows. Mike? Anybody remember him? Magic Mike. No. Carson, give us a one-hit wonder that you can think of off the top of your head. Give us either the oh, band no. or, or the song. And uh, The song, yeah. <laughs> and we'll give the band. Or not the uh, the uh, the Oneaters <laughs> doing that thing you do? Yeah, dude, that's a great, that's a good movie. Tom Hanks reset. Yeah. Dude, what are we doing? Uh, right at the wire, just talks shit in circles, doesn't he? <laughs> I mean, he does. The guy just does nothing else. His goal is to get me to blow my head off on a live stream. Oh come on, no. Hey Tom, you had this one. That's aggressive. No sump. Well, you know. Stout sump pump. <laughs> Some coffee stout. So it's it's uh-huh. perennial artists and ales out of St. Louis, and uh, oh, yeah. there's a there's a coffee manufacturer there that's actually called Some. So they do a coffee stout with them. Nice. Grandma is at the nice. Baja men, and I'm so ashamed of myself to know that that's I, name. Aren't there like two or three bands that release the same song? I think at it's the, same the Baja time men. I th- yeah, I think you're right. I think it is Baja. And that is, I'm honestly absolutely ashamed of myself for that. I. Yeah, you, you I'm be. glad you said it, and not me. But, um, no, it's it's really truly really an embarrassment. <laughs> Carson, do you know who sang "Heaven or Las Vegas"? Come out with it. Yeah. Nobody knows Could that. Be heaven or Las Vegas. You made it up. No, I didn't. Mommy, mommy, mommy. I'm supposed to be downstairs. I know. <laughs> Let's talk music. Didn't she give us a winning pick not too go. long ago? So, Grandma, to answer your question, no, I didn't make this one in my basement, but I actually do brew. I've got some uh, brown ale that I brewed down in the basement right now, aging in a bottle. Very nice. Debbie. Hi, Dad. How do you like here? Hello. Can you say hello? (laughs) What's your favorite number between one and seven? (laughs) Here, you want to pick a number? Yeah. Okay. Uh, here I'll show you. No hesitation. You got like the confidence. All right, guys, you got Carson. I am gonna step out. I probably do have to make dinner at some point soon. So oh, yeah. have a good one. Get Cheers. Some, white get some wins. And blue. White and blue. blue. Yeah, I like it. Two and three. Well, three scratch. a scratch. So two's the two's the clear pick. You got your own. I forgot I have streaming. Oh, that's not even. Oh, it's tonight the thing. I forgot. <laughs> There. Okay, come on. Hold my doll. Okay. All right. Thank you for your picks. I will be there shortly. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. We got uh, 15 minutes. Plenty of time. Ready? Well... I ran is a uh, flock of seagulls. Crash test dummies was. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, no. Let me show Flock of seagulls gets yeah, the award for best hair ever. Crash test dummies was. Remember that? Mm, mm, mm. That was a good song. 
93, probably something like that. Iran's a that's like a pretty uh, yep timeless song. It is. I was just singing it. I ran so far away. Read little pigs. Now that's a good one. That's uh, it was Les Claypool. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just have a couple of races. I'll be right there. Oh my god, that's gonna kill me. Three little pigs, dude. Dun, dun, dun. You're talking Vince Watson. I assume you're talking about the uh, '90s. Oh my god, it was Les Claypool, right? Tell me if I'm on the right track. Did you guys see there's a Bayou Bluegrass Pick 5 coming up for 323? Dude, I don't ever get more than two days ahead of myself. I can't even. There's going to be too many scratches before that happens. There's no way. I might have to venture on down to Louisiana for the Louisiana Derby, though. Are you going? I might. I don't know if anybody saw Mike Joyce interviewed... Um, Fred, the gov we call him the governor, Fred Matthews, and he sent a message. I reshared it on Twitter if you're on Twitter, but he's been riding horses for longer than I've been alive. <clears throat> so he's probably ridden some pretty big horses down there at fairgrounds, and he just took out his trainer's license. So nice. I'd like to go down and see him do well. Um, I haven't even looked to see who's probable for Louisiana Derby. I haven't I haven't delved in either, right? It's been no. there's been so many scratches this year that it's like it's almost you're better off waiting until yeah. Thursday. I, I'll wait until the week of before I even look. By the way, arrested development. We got Tennessee or Mr. Wendell. Which one do you want to talk about? People Great every day. Song. Love arrested development. Not the TV show, the band. Yeah, dude. Vince, I can't think of it. I know it was Les Claypool, and it was a reset on Little Pigs, uh, three little pigs. Great. Hilarious. It was on like Beavis and Butthead and all that shit. This is the type of horse content you get in the cocktail lounge. Coming at you. All right, Carson. So you're tuning in and the bankroll. Is it updated, Tim, or do I need to take that last? Well, we have nine. No, I think we're good. Uh, it right? is not updated. We did not do the last one. We, no, I, I did do the last yeah, one. I'm did. sorry. Yeah. I did. Because I said we have 57 left for the last not, three races. Other than me, I've been betting kind of bigger than everybody else, but conservative at this point. So, Yeah, I mean, we've only got three races left, and we've got more than half the bankroll. So let's do it. There's three races left. Don't be Carson, afraid. You want, I'll give you the choice. There's three races left. Do you want to take okay. this one? Or do you want to wait? Six, seven, or eight. All right. Um, Call, it. Call um, it. Yeah, I'll take seven if you don't mind. Just, just so I can watch one run. There has been closing is a thing tonight, so you know. Okay. Good deal. So, Umbra, if she takes seven, I'm going to take eight so you can have this one. All right. I guess I better look. Ten minutes to post race six. And don't stop the, uh, you know, seether resets in the chat. We have, uh, come on, let me throw one out there. I'll throw one. Let me pull a deep cut. How about lightning crashes? Can anybody name that band? That's easy, right? Don't, no Google, hands free only. Remember lightning crashes, that song from the 90s? That should be pretty easy, right? No, absolute crickets. Nobody knows who that is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but they had more than just one. I thought oh, you were yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. Wonders. Oh. No, I'm just naming. No. Oh yeah. Live. Okay, they got it. All right, so I can feel a little more comfortable about actually getting creative. How about? How about the song "The Funeral"? Anybody? 
Yeah, Band of Horses. Yes, dude. And how great is Band of Horses? They just played in Nashville at the Ryman. I almost. literally almost had like drove down there the night. <laughs> dude, I've seen them like, dude, I've seen them like eight times, probably two or three times by myself. I don't go to this shows is, yeah. alone. This is how old I am. I saw their sh first show at the Music Farm in Charleston. Oh, <laughs> I think I paid like nineteen dollars or something. I love them. They're so good. Check them out, Band of Horses, if you don't know. Big sponsor of the Cocktail Lounge. Wow. So I was just looking really quickly. That Louisiana Derby field looks decent. So here's the names, oh. real quick: Track Phantom, Catching Freedom. Honor Marie, Common Defense, Real That's Men by Lynn, Tuscan Gold, Hall of Fame, Nash's Trash, Lat Long, and B Dancer. All right. Those first three you mentioned are like, uh, you know, Twitter fodder for days. So, yeah, exactly. I haven't been blown away by any of them, but, uh, you know, what are we going to do? All right. Let's jump right in. Carson, do you have an opinion on race six? I'll take it as the final play, but what are you doing on race six? Well, I was looking at speed figures because we're only going six furlongs, but since... Short field, by the way. Yeah, it's... Uh, Five horses only. Looks like, I mean, it would be nice if the two could get up there and get a piece of it since my child picked it, but um, I like the six here. Wall red, yep. I like the six two a little bit. Tim, all seven all day. Put all your money on seven to win. There's no competition in this race. Everything else is for the miners. That's exactly where I was going. Six would definitely be the underneath. I I, I like the six underneath. I I would also I'll, say that I I I like the one here with Adam getting up on this one. Yeah, why is so seven either, here? Right. It, exactly. No, it, it's that it's a good question. I mean, as like long as he doesn't it. drop below sub one to one. I feel like uh good. Ben claimed this horse and Keeneland's not open yet. So he's gonna yes. run him here and I, I agree. We will see this horse at Keeneland. There's okay. no doubt in my mind. All right. Yeah, yeah we're I'm gonna wait. We're, we're going to sit and talk about I'm Going Hungry, which was uh, not Stone Temple Pilots. That was, uh, what was that mashup band called with Eddie Vedder and uh, Chris Cornell? Temple the Dog, that's what they were called. Um, so, yes, the seven is nine to five right now, six minutes to post. And if the seven goes off over one to one, we're just, I mean, I'm half tempted to put, what do we have? 60 dollars or whatever on it to win, but i'm not going to do that 57 i mean it wouldn't hurt to throw 20 on him but yeah yeah that's probably what we're doing angel james angel james in the chat just said it exactly 20 to win two dollar exact to seven all is an interesting thought i love to play that like if you have a a, a certain horse that you think is definitely going to win sometimes that all play if it's a mess underneath so, so here's the thing. It's here's the thing play. about playing a, a seven all. I, I, think have to, right, I think you have to. I think you have to pick one horse to leave out, and here's why: because the seven with the one and the burn? four is paying eight dollars. So either one of those, and all your either either one of those horses is the underneath in the exacto. You only get your money back. So I, I think you have to drop one to win something. I'm saying sometimes it's a very smart bet. And sometimes it isn't. If you've got a key horse like that and you don't know what's going on underneath, and it could be if you like some of the uh you know longer plays underneath, which in a five horse field, it's kind of trash. It's a four dollar all play. So if you cut one out, it's only a three dollar all play. So I don't see the value in leaving it out, but that can be argued to or blue in the face you know well because 50 percent of them is not only going to give you your money back and that way 50 percent is a win. If, if that's you, why we're going to better win that here. I think it makes a lot more sense if there's seven horses underneath or something like that, you know? that That's true. With such a small field, I think, and, and the payouts right now, I think you have to leave one out. The only way to bet this race, in my opinion, is you either take the seven to win. I mean, if you're confident the seven's the best, which I think we are, 
or you bet a straight exact as seven six or seven one right seven something and i'm not doing that now ah, four minutes to post he's eight to five as of the er, ash of the earth great name by the way thanks for joining that's a new name four seven exact to count on it wow i love it great coming in coming in hot i think that's the first post i've ever seen out of ash of the earth and just comes in count on it tattooed on my forehead four seven exacto and i gotta tell you the two's the only one not taking any juice here four minutes to post i think i'm just gonna do 20 bucks in the seven let me just call it simple the only, thing, only reason I'm waiting is if in case it drops to like two to five or something crazy. Somebody goes in and stabs too much money. What would Mr. Automatic do in this situation? <laughs> that is what we're all after. Nothing we're capable of. No, <laughs> it's true. Seven looks amazing. Yeah, six to five, and I'm afraid it's going to get a little bit worse from here. And honestly, if anybody's betting, if anybody's the for those in the chat fading the seven, and I'm not no disrespect intended, but why? Like I'm curious, and then and I'm not gonna I'm not kidding when I say why. I don't see it, but I'm curious as to why. Charles B's going six. Six all is what is what Charles B's doing. Chaz is hey, on the six, boy. Todd likes hey, the six. What are we doing? By, by the way, let me just point this out. Dan said, check my exacta table. He's seeing the payouts I was talking about for a $1 wager and not two. And he's actually right. My ADW has always showed exacta payouts in $2 increments. And I don't know why, but today it's $1 payouts. They've always been $2 payouts. And by the way, given to fly the seven horses three to five. This is why I was waiting. Exactly. Now, now I think you you got to pick your exact. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, if this was not the cocktail lounge, I would not be betting this race. If I'm being Agreed. Uh, well, looking at the pools, the one and the six have the most money. Seven, uh, one pays eight bucks. Seven, four pays six bucks I'm just going to wait this thing out I, it's four to five I'm just, I'm still betting 20 bucks to win in a seven because I think he's going to end up one to one or something close to that which is and, and he is now he's one to one 20 bucks to win in the seven it's real simple sorry everybody for uh hesitating but I was making sure it wasn't going one to nine or something crazy. That's your $20 to win on the seven. Real simple. Hopefully he uh, jogs up and down the track. $10 place in the six and two. What are we doing? Todd, what are we doing? Place bets for in a five horse race. Mm. Let me see what – I don't know. I didn't look at the pools close, but is there a uh... – I don't know. Maybe it's a bridge jumping situation. I have no idea. But here we go, loading them up. I'll tell you how to bet. The only way I'd bet off the seven right now is if I was like – heavy on the seven single and like a pick five or something and i had to uh hedge my initial instinct in this race was the four just based on speed figures and going six furlongs but i think the four is a bad favorite here with these others uh i haven't that's seen a race go tonight so i can't but that's why i couldn't do a exact a, i couldn't choose between the four and the one for a second and it's just like i mean he was the morning line favorite obviously he's not the favorite now just saying Seven four one is how I saw it straight up, but I mean that doesn't mean it's coming that way. Obviously, Caesar, I'm uh, I'm watching TVG. 
that's you know i'm in an illegal state and uh dirty little secret i'm not allowed to have any of this shit in my state in the bible belt down here but i you know tvg they're all in the gate and they're off and the six came out like a rocket got a great start the two was a little slow out of the gate but the one is going to take the inside position and move out to the lead the four is going to settle about half a length off of that one just to the outside the two is going to trail those two back on the rail in third it's another length and a half back to the seven horse and the six trails them all about another eight ten links back to the six at this point up front they go to the quarter and 22 and two they're going pretty pretty fast up front with the one seven's absolutely out of tune on the lead over. by a link the four is starting to make a move ramsey the uh, seven is starting to get in gear a little bit and starting to make up links on the top two the four ramsey start puts a nose in front as they reach the turn into the stretch oh, the one looks to be tiring the four is in front right now ramsey the two is going to look for room right, down on the rail ten. the seven's trying to get run on the outside the yeah. one is still there right now but the four is pushing wow. and the seven is going to have work to do but here cloud. he comes the six is coming oh, to get them all late the seven wow. starts get up and the six is gonna pass them all from way back six seven what the hell was that let me look back at what I have on the six here. Way back. Six. Seven. Everything happened like it was supposed to except the six. What are we doing? Exactly. I gave you the six. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the six was my second choice, but yikes. I know you did. You did mention it. I'll give you that. Play back the tape. Let's go to the tape. <laughs> no denial. I mean, it was my second choice, too. I know. I'm just kidding. It had a hyped up uh, closer figure too, so yeah, makes sense. But <laughs> that's cool. a little Walter Rod special. <laughs> I love it, Charles B. Easy Charles B's got he's got to be in retirement mode now. <laughs> Charles B. I think he's hit every race, and we've hit nothing. You get nothing. The horse pulled that one out. Yeah, hey, six did it, babe. He was uh, he was out there drunk driving. I thought the horse was lost, and all of a sudden he's going like thirty miles an hour quicker than the rest. Yes. Wally Rodriguez getting and it he done. Was on way Smith back wagon five to one. When I called him at the half, he was like twelve lengths back. Yeah, he was. Yeah, from the clouds. Good luck with that one, Scott. Hell yeah, that's gonna. I mean, that five to one, five to one in a five horse field is a nice, nice piece. Exactly, that's a good start to pick three. Love to see it. Love to see it. I haven't even. We haven't even gotten to play a love to see it because we haven't loved to see any results so far. No, we haven't loved shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's Carson's race, though, so here we come. Coming back. Got to update the banner we'll and take, take off. It. Alex, what do you take? Let's let's run back the tape on Alex. He's who and how and what do we got? Don't be such a Chippewa, he said. I am a Chippewa. I'm trying to find. Okay, right at the wire. Here he is. Seven, one, four, six. Okay, he did. He got it. Congratulations. Alex, you did it. Yuck it up, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gives me a harder time than Alex. He's the new uh, Mr. No Name. There's our new motto in the lounge. We haven't launched yet. <laughs> yeah, dude. Quote it. Clip it. Send it to uh, TikTok. Let the kids go. Me and Alex have friendly banter. <laughs> and believe me, dude, if you if you ever saw me with like my three or four best friends I grew up with, went to high school with, nobody's a bigger asshole to each other than us. That's just the way <laughs> that's just the way it is, baby. Uh oh, he's threatening you now. Uh oh. See, uh, you know, that's that seems like that's, a threat. That's, that's a lifestyle choice <laughs> that you know I'll 
I'll oblige. <laughs> Are you coming to Keeneland? Did, I thought he, I saw you. Yes, he put, he put it earlier, and I, I, I highlighted that. It, that he had, maybe he, I'll pull back on uh, my plans then. Yes, he found out today. He's going to Keeneland. Maybe I'll pull back on my plans. <laughs> you still owe me for your tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not pulling back my plans, dude. I'm looking forward to I'm it. What do we got? Three weeks? Three weeks, baby. It's getting close. There. Two weeks. Three? Three. Three weeks. Dude, it's going to be wild. We are close. I may not make it home from that thing, to be honest with you. Three weeks weeks from right now. We will, Love be, to sitting see in, it. We will be sitting in Lexington. Having Carson drinks. will be there snapping photos. You know, it's going to be a beauty. We got like, honestly, uh, I was talking to the game of Silks Brass on a conference call the other day. And I was like, I think there's about 20 of us, right? Out of the lounge. I mean, there's at least there's I, 10 that I, I know say, for sure. I would say it's close to that, honestly. Carson, have you guys gotten a lot of RSVPs about the, the handicapping the session we're going to do? The, the meetup? Um, yeah, I think that we have here. I'll give you a number. If you have not sent me your email, if you will be here the 5th and the 6th, we're going to do live handicapping the evening of the 5th. I just want to get emails to print out PPs so I have enough copies for everybody and we'll handicap Saturday's card. So um, I'll put my email in the chat. That's going to be fun. Will there be any cocktails or uh, beers involved or no? We're going to provide food and there will be um, alcohol. There might be a little bit of a tab. A bit of yeah. a tab for everybody. See, me and Tim are going to challenge each other to who can get more sloppy. So, <laughs> I swear to God, here's what I'm going to do, you guys. I want to do like a thousand dollar mutual fund and uh, let somebody else run it <laughs> so I don't have to bet anything all day. I'll just walk around and be a drunk idiot. That's my goal. I'll run it. It's so fun Let's to go. me to just the environment. I don't like being tied to, uh, like I went last year, or I didn't go last year to the um, bluegrass, but two years ago when it was the ice storm, don't want to talk about it, but uh, it was like taking away from me that I had to keep betting for because I had a group. And it was like, I just wanted to take it all in and not be tied to that. Yeah. And I was buzzed, so I couldn't like focus. You know, I'm like, my mind's bouncing around and all that. But I just this time I don't think I'm I don't think I'm gonna I'll organize a fund or whatever, but I don't think I want to have like any responsibility. Yeah, let's figure all that out. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. But the whole thing of like three minutes to post, you're running up there and there's some idiot putting a you know 17 different wheel bets in. You can't get your ticket in at the window, all that stuff. I, be I a, either bet be the machine. Keeneland and there's a certain place I always go because I can always get in or I just do it on my phone. And and that's a problem sometimes at Keeneland because yeah, there yeah, are so yeah. many people and, and depending on which carrier you have, I have uh, phone problems regularly when I'm at Keeneland. And by the way, Trisha, I got your email today. Uh, general admission, baby. If you, I mean, honestly, I have paid up for the tickets in the past and don't use them. I don't personally. I, some people, I mean, maybe yuck it up up in the stands. Not for me, dude. I'm a. I like to be down on the. I like to be standing. I like to be standing on the front stretch and uh, taking it in with the thousands of people on the front. I, I will say this: if if you're thinking of going, even if you're looking at general admission, Saturday for Bluegrass Day is already sold out. Okay, and. The, the only way you're going to get in on Bluegrass Day is if instead of buying a regular general admission ticket, you need to buy a season pass. Okay, you can get a season pass and, and it's a little bit pricey. It's 50 bucks. Okay, but it'll get you in any other day you want and you could possibly sell it if you need to. But that is the only way right now you're going to get a ticket to Saturday unless you find somebody selling one and on, honestly, I'm not sure there are tons of those, but they're, they're probably out there somewhere. But Saturday sold out. I think you'll get in. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't not go over it. 
Like, if you want to go and you don't have a ticket yet, I would just go. Even if you don't have a ticket, you'll get in. We'll get you Tr in. Trisha, you're, you're welcome to get a seat for yourself. But again, on Saturday, you're not getting anything. Right now, if you look, there are no seats. There are, no, there are none of the restaurant seats. There's no general admission. On Bluegrass Day at Keeneland, the tickets sell. So you you can still show up, and if you go up by the gate and hold up a sign, need one, chances are somebody will probably walk by and give you one. But there are or no Mike seats Whitten. for sale. What's that? Or Mike Witten will hook you up. <laughs> It is, Scott. I mean, actually, that's what I bought for the whole season. I, I bought the season pass general admission, and that's what I do because I go a lot. And I, I don't I don't sit. Mouth Grab some Bragoog. Get a, don't get a beer. I don't understand. Like a, Buy Carson sold, a drink. If it's sold out. bet the horses. <laughs> if it's sold out, I think you can. I, I think you can still. I'm saying Malathot. I'm saying, uh, yeah, it's sold out, but I think. You know, knowing the powerful people that Trish knows, I think we'll get her in. Worst case scenario is you have to pay the 50 bucks or whatever. Maybe go to the hill and watch it on the big screen. Trisha, have you been there before? I'm just curious. Because if I think if you'd been there before, you would know that I don't see any value in the seats. Unless it's raining or something and you, you want the cover. But, dude, I've, I've been there like six times for bluegrass, and it's either sunny and nice but breezy and cold, or it's, you know, shitty. And either way, if it's freezing cold, you don't want to be sitting down. I like to be moving around, like walking around. Yeah. And if it's nice I'm out, I want to be out in the sun in the – on the front stretch. So yeah, I'm, I'm way, not a like setter. Being... I, I bought, I bought the reserve box seats and, and you go up and you sit down and you have a seat yeah, and, and I, I don't sit down and then 40 seconds. I don't later, sit. You're like, okay, I'm going to get up. I, I, I go to the paddock and then I go make my bed and then I go yep. watch the race and I go back to the paddock and I stop by and get a beer and then I head back to the next one. And it's just like, it's just what you do. I mean, everybody handles it the, the way they like to do it, but uh, that that's me. I don't, I don't like to sit. Me neither. No, no sitting. And we'll we'll talk about it on that Friday night when we have our meetup. But we, on Saturday, we'll see. Uh, we we might even have a little mini tailgate before we head in. Yeah, dude, for the races that. or something. I'd love that because I'm gonna have to pull myself out of a, a hangover. I'm sure. <laughs> have a little Bloody Mary bar or something before we go in. Malathot sitting at the second wire. Nice. Yeah, that is the best. That. That area is the hype area. All right. What are we looking at? Let's take a look here. So the horses right now are coming into the paddock. We got 16 minutes to race seven. We have a field of eight. For this, the penultimo the paddock race. On bluegrass day. What are you talking about, Dr. Jude? You can walk right up, baby. I petted yeah. essential quality on a fucking. I don't know how it's going to look with the new construction. Um, exactly. I'll oh, really? You know. Yeah, I'll let you know next week. But, dude, I yeah, swear I, to God, dude, I talked to Brad Cox in essential quality on Bluegrass Day. I I will tell you, that look, there there are always crowds, but I I right. always get right up to the paddock and see my horses every every race day, no matter what the crowd is. Yes, it gets crazy. People say things like you can't bet, you can't get food. I uh, don't I don't buy I've it. I don't believe it. Bet. I've never I've never missed a paddock walk. I've never missed a bet. Same. You see whatever you want to see. Honestly, it's not. This isn't the uh, NFL, folks. I mean, come on. I, I will tell you this. It, it can be a bit of a line. If you wait until later on to get some food, it can be a line. But it goes pretty fast. I don't eat once I start drinking, so I don't have to worry about that. I always get something when I get there. Eat a little bit and then start. Oh, yeah. And then at the beginning, yeah, for sure. Got to eat something. I always start out with a little burgoo. <laughs> there you go. Can't go wrong. Or, or go down and get you a, a corned beef. Yeah, some kind of trashy, greasy thing, something to get you get you a foundation. Because I'm going to tell you, dude, those Keeneland loggers are really good, and I'm probably going to have like 10. <laughs> 10 for the, uh, you know, four-hour show, and then go out after for another 10. 
We're definitely going out. I, I actually uh, sent a, a note to uh, the brewery uh, that that I like there in Lexington. They they were posting. They just put a keg of a beer I like on. I said, you just make sure you have this beer on Keeneland Open Weekend. Dude, yeah, get us a table, baby. We got listen to that. <laughs> They're going to roll out the red carpet for the profits. It's going to be amazing. Right here. Carson, you know where it is. Dude, I can't oh, wait to snob it up. I want to go to a, I want to go to a snob, uh, what's it called, too? Bourbon factory. Just go and taste some of that delicious bourbon with you guys. Wait, what tour, is, what concerts keep going to? I missed something concerts what yeah he just said i'm trying not to look at tour videos i want it to be a surprise oh you mean the track oh yeah yeah he must be I got yeah, he's never been there back. i got sucked back into the music combo yeah dude keith your best your best uh odds are to uh not look at anything because yeah that shit ruins it bro i agree with you just take it in as look. you do it don't let, be let me let me say this have your phone in your hand look around and enjoy the scenery it's, it's beautiful there. i i hear this conversation all the time and i'm just gonna say this people talk their shit about saratoga about del mar you know and, and the about the beauty of santa anita you can talk about any of them you want there is nothing that matches in the horse racing game there's nothing that matches the majesty of keeneland nothing I'm not going to fight you. Wow. The formula with a cocktail twins reset. That is honestly, I commend you for that. Nobody knows who cocktail twins are. There's not one person in the chat. There's not one person. John Cocteau. <laughs> Sean Cocteau. <laughs> Sean Cocktail Nolan? No. Uh, can you imagine that you just did that? Nobody knows who that is. It's shoegaze shit. Nobody knows what shoegaze is. Incredible. That's who you were talking about with heaven, whatever that sh Carson, you're way late, but <laughs> he's been well, blasting heaven his heaven or Las Vegas. Vegas thing all night. They wanted to be the cranberries, but they didn't quite make it. Cocktail twins wanted to be the cranberry. I think the cranberries wanted to be them, but then they just got uh, bigger. Which came first? I don't know. Cocktail twins definitely came first. That's like 80s shit. It, they were like the original shoegaze band. It was them and then like, you know, slow dive and whatever. But Fletch ref if that's a Fletch reference, I'll kill myself on a live stream right now. I swear to God. Is that John a, a Chevy Clark's, Chase John shit? Fan is a Fletch reference, yes. Oh, my God. I thought he was making a Cocktail Twins reference like the band. He if was. You, if you're telling me that's a... No, I said... Never mind. No, but people are talking about Chevy Chase. Flet, Fletch is a Chevy Chase. I know, Chase because one. I read Cocktail Twins, okay. and I said, you mean John Cocktosin? <laughs> like, Cocktosin? Okay. However All right, so he wasn't. It. Know, but there's come clean formula were you talking because <laughs> dude it, it, it's a different angle what if you saw it i wanted to know his true angle if it was cocktail twins it's one thing if it's chevy chase it's another i made it chevy chase i got i, I understand that for sure <laughs> i understand yes yes i'm positive okay. <laughs> dr rosen rosen i don't what are we doing? <laughs> Let's hook up for the Belmont. Belmont is, uh, you know, for those who have no self-respect. But go ahead. We'll see you guys there. You know, I, I considered going to the Belmont because I've yet to be to Saratoga. And when they uh, said it was going up there, go I was that. like, don't okay. Go for that. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go check it out. But as soon as that announcement came out, I look at tix tickets immediately and, and the hotels and everything went nuts. Wow. And I'm like, okay, not going. Take Keep your money. I'll be not honest, happening. dude. I've been there and, you know, it's fun. But these pretentious people, 
these pretentious and Colin's one of them and Vinny, two two of my good friends. I like Vinny and Colin a lot. But they just have a circle jerk over this Saratoga. And you know what it is? Yeah. Have you ever been to Fenway Park or uh, Wrigley Field? I've been to Wrigley. I've been, I haven't been yeah, to Fenway. It's the same. It's, Saratoga is Wrigley Field. You go there and there's history and there's majesty. I get it. But it, it's, it is what it is, dude. Come on. And they, and they just play it off like if you, you know, Saratoga. And these guys are so, I mean, their feelings are so strong. Their allegiance to this thing is, it's because they've never been anywhere else. Right. Like, honestly. And you can say the same thing about for some Keeneland folks, but I've been to, I've been to most of the tracks now. You know, I tried to. I haven't been to the California tracks, but I've been to the rest of them. Hey, Saratoga Carson, you want, big Carson you want to take Corey's question? Um, I don't know where the green lot is. Track kitchen I don't either, is open but, to everybody. Yeah. But the the as far as the track kitchen, yeah, it's open to everybody. It, yeah, but the thing is, you if you're going to go to the track kitchen for breakfast, you need to really go to like breakfast at Keeneland Breakfast. You know that do that thing in the morning to where you go in, you get to tour the grounds, you can go back in the barns, you can check everything out, go to breakfast. If you come later on after the gates open, you're not going to get back there. Breakfast with Sean Patrick Nolan. Is that happening too? When, once they open up the gates at 11 o'clock, they will not let you on the backside to go to the kitchen most of the time, especially on a big day like bluegrass. Yeah. They open at 630. Anybody? 6.30. Yes, go early in the morning. And it's really cool I'll to go back in the barn to watch the horses work on the track. Um, speaking of horses on the track, we're on the track here. Go into post. Let's do it. So who's this up? is Carson's race. I'm ready. You want to go or you want me to go? You got to solve it, babe. Because we have, what do we have? $37. Carson, we have not set you up well. Damn. Okay. But you got 37. That's plenty. Yes. And take what you want of it because we're going to make money. So I'll have plenty to bet with in the last race. So current odds have the six horse at two to one. The three horse is a second favorite at five to two. You've got two horses at seven to one. That's the four and the eight. I'll go first. I'll just get it out here. I like the five and the six. And the five is uh, currently three to one. Jerry Corrales. <sighs> Man, I'm trying to figure out why I like the, the six. I like the three, too, but, I mean, that's the chalk. So, basically, I like the five, three, six, and it's kind of hard to decipher, but the five right now is the longest of those three at seven to two, so. Yeah, and, and yeah, for me, Carson, <clears throat> I, I like the three on top here. Uh, the horse is coming off a bit of a layoff, but I like the works leading in. Uh, the horse is, has a consistent pattern of works, and that bullet work on the on the fourth looks pretty good. So trainer Paula Lobo has got a, a, a good record, a good ROI, a positive ROI of 250 coming 61 to 180 days off the layoff. So I, I really think uh, the three horse for me is uh, the horse uh, on top. The six is who I like second personally. I've got the, the six uh, as somebody that a lot of people are going to bet coming out of an allowance race. Uh, I think that uh, th this horse is probably going to be just behind the speed and basically the way the track's playing. I like the horse, honestly, a little bit more than I did when I originally handicapped it. And then I had, uh, I had the five for third. Uh, second off a layoff. Uh, so the trainer connections, I think, uh, is pretty decent here. When uh, when these two hook up, jockey trainer, they're 33%. They're, so they're hitting uh, one-third of the time for the win. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I went 3-6 straight initially. Um, Makes sense. I, I do like this one. I was trying to figure out why the eight was taking money. A lot of chatter in the, a lot of the chat likes the eight. I saw they mentioned at least a couple times. Yeah. Uh, Tony, um, what's it say? I mean, it doesn't look bad on track. I'm just trying to see him out in post parade, but we're running out of time. Now you got five minutes. No rush. I would do. 
You know, the thing about the eight been off since October, uh, has some decent works down there. Uh, first time on synthetic. Yeah. I mean, we could stick with the standard formula of 50 cent try key box three key, the three with one, five, six, eight, and hope for the one and the eight. Maybe the six will have a bad day. I don't mean a bad, bad day. Just, you know, a slow day. You said so 50 cent? 18, $18 total, right? Yeah. Three yeah, with one, five, six, eight. That would be 18 for bucks race. for a 50 cent wager. Yeah. But wait. I think that's a fine. Oh, go ahead, Tim. Sorry. Carson? Now we can make it official, right? My official yeah. bet, because why mess with a formula that doesn't work? 50 cent tri key box. We're going to key the three with one, five, six, eight. Let's hope Alvin can get that one up there. And maybe the eight to, to finish the, the third. Yeah. That's three with the one, five, six, eight, correct? Yeah. If it comes all chalk, sorry. Sorry. Well, yeah, but that's a risk worth taking if you're including a couple of the big prices, which the one and the eight are going to get you some prices. So si since we opened up, the uh, the six horse has been the favorite since we opened. The favoritism just dropped to the three horse, and the six is now second favorite, which is exactly how I saw it, three, six. But <clears throat> I kind of like it. I mean, you're you're – you're gambling on the fact that you think that there's an option for the one or the eight to get involved. So it's the only way to make money in a race like this, unless you're just going to push all in on the winner. Like I tried to do last race and lost, you know, it's, it's kind of, you have to commit to a winner or you have to try to spread and get a, get a bomb involved, which is what we're doing. Yeah, my biggest disappointment in this race is is that uh, the seven uh, is not racing because I like the seven. Yeah, seven's gone. And yeah, I know people are mentioning the two, a little bit of a drop in class here. It doesn't seem to like the synthetic that much. Agreed. Uh, five year old gelding, Indian Charlie, broodmare. Everything looks great on paper until you get to his performances here. I, I didn't go back and watch this race on February 10th. It says he was blocked into the stretch. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Sorry, I didn't have time to prepare better for you, but that's what I got. No. If the two beats me, I'll let him do it. Exactly. We've all been standing in judgment of your... Uh, lack of preparation, Carson. Shame. Shame. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm trying to hold my head up from falling asleep. I'm so tired. You, you prepared as much as I did. I did quick handicapping on to, on every race in tonight's card. Yeah, it's been a long week, you know. Carson's been sick. I, I had some bouts. I had the worst, like, uh, sinus and shit headache ever earlier in the week and i i pushed through it then i've been working uh crazy hours so no excuses but i'm tired tim's going through some shit we're all you know we're here hey here's, here's, here's something here's, here's, something, here's the kid. think about though with one minute to race seven so they're getting behind the gate but again um, umbre and i we uh we we just uh got our first two horses in our silk stables uh so we so. minted a couple of two-year-olds and we we've got uh one more two-year-old that we're gonna mint and we're gonna do some uh, market purchases but if you have not checked out game of silks real ownership real races real rewards and and it's a lot of fun colin's really getting into it we're excited about our opportunity uh, and if you want more uh, more information or you're interested in possibly getting involved with what we're doing, just shoot us a message. Uh, find Alombre or myself on uh, Twitter, on X, and uh, send us a message and just let us know. And we'll let you know when we're going forward, when we might be taking more people into our syndicate. Uh, but we're really excited about what we're doing with Silks. Uh, we think it's a lot of fun. Well, yeah, we saw Razor checked in. He's doing it. I mean, they've done a good job. The Silks community has done a good job of uh, 
kind of bringing in the community who's been the most active on YouTube and Twitter and all that and, uh, you know, getting the right people involved. So kudos to the, to the team there at Game of Silks. You know, Gavin and Matt, some of the guys I've dealt with personally, they're really good dudes. And they're, uh, you know, they're trying to build the community, not just Game of Silks, but horse racing. Because they've got a lot of dudes coming from different sections of, uh, I don't know, gambling, I guess, when you call it. like uh, We're all in and we're all. Sorry, yeah. Six got a really good start. The crypto it's guys. Is what I'm two inside that one is uh, going to jump out now for the lead. So the two in Solito is going to take the lead a little bit. You got the six outside of that one. The three is going to take real position. And it's kind of all of them together after that. You've got the five, the eight. The four is another length back, and right now trailing the field, you've got the four and the one horse back there. But up front in Solito, still got a one length lead. The three's got inside position, but going to try to come around and take the outside to the two. Just outside that one, you've got the six horse, Moto Vivace, who is uh, looking with the three, but the two still looks strong up front. Two's it's looking good. Involved. Is now starting to make a move. Here comes the eight horse. Just behind those is the six in between. The six has got a great position on the turn, really got a good turn. Up front, though, the two is holding down on the rail, though. The rail looks to be open, but nobody can get past the two. But wow. the five is going to try still on the rail. Here comes the five, five up the rail. Five is going to put a nose in front. The two is fighting back. It's the five and the two. The two and the five come to the wire. I think the two, five got him eight and three behind that one. Wow. Wow. He wasn't supposed to stay up. Wow, indeed. He looks super washed. Yes. Yikes. Yes, he had to turn the tables, block everybody else. Two, five, eight. Two, five, eight, three. So two of the longer shots in the field got there, babe. Yeah, I was right to get the one in the eight. Just, I guess oh, I it's going to be a nice try. There. Should just toss the six all together. He was a bad favorite like the four in the last race. Oh, well. I'm trash. Yeah, we're all trash tonight so far. I'm trash. <laughs> Who had the 258 try? Did anybody catch that? That's a, that's yeah, going to be a thing. Yeah, somebody, uh, Daily Double. Yeah. He had that. Pick three, too, right? Is that right? He's, oh. He said he's through for the pick four. Oh, okay. Who was it that had the pick three starting with the six? I remember. Jessica asked the question, are you picking winners as usual? Uh, Jessica, not tonight so much. Nobody has picked a winner yet. I think we are just going backwards. So... We're gonna close this out. Jump in, Jessica. Jump in. I left you twenty bucks. I got it. <laughs> I'm all over it. Tim said, "Never mind, Jessica. We don't need you." Tim's got confused. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do we bet on that? Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen. Yeah. So that's gonna leave me nineteen dollars. That's plenty. That's plenty. First of all, what's everybody in the chat alive to? I see um, Scott's out. The only doubles alive for the pick four. That's got to be. It feels like the late races have been uh, pretty non-chalky. The first half was chalky. Yeah. Daily double. So who are you alive to in the last race? Let's root it home for daily double because that, that's gonna, that's got to be a cute pick four. I mean, it's got to be. It does. Jessica's already in PJs. It's a chat night for me. Got to clean the house for traveling this weekend. Wow. Okay. I'm always in PJs on here. What are you yeah. I'm not even wearing pants right now, but who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't need to know all that, but <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm wearing uh, gym shorts, basketball shorts, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call them. Some Adidas shorts are like four sizes too big, just you know, so for some moving room. There you go.
we are coming into the last race and and I gotta tell you, I hate to be a bummer right now, but uh I'm glad there's only eight tonight. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I'm exhausted. Um, it, it's been a long I, week. I haven't had dinner yet, you know. Malnding. My ending. Malnding. Welcome aboard. Uh, we got people coming in. At least we got 281 in the in the chat. 281 viewing right now. Rex 12. Rex 12, give me a couple of your uh, hot takes on music. We want to hear. Give me a. You know what? Let's talk guilty pleasures. What's a, what's a band that you like or a song you like that you're kind of ashamed of because you know it sucks, but you actually still like it? Anybody throw one of those out there for me? I mean, I could throw a bunch. Throw out a song in the chat, a song that is a guilty pleasure for you. You know it's kind of bad. Uh, it's not a great song, but for some reason you love it. It could be a catchy shit you know whatever song but you like it put it out there all right What's here's a song out? i really like go ahead and, and you ready have you have you heard the song too close by next what year it doesn't sound familiar so it, it's like 90s r&b but it sounds, next is familiar for sure so check it out. I mean, I mean, it's like the ultimate, like it. it's the, I, I always say it's like the Valentine's day song guys. Okay. Here we play, go. Play that song. Listen to the lyrics. Listen to the lyrics. It's called too close by next. Okay. What? Hold on. I got to interrupt. I'm sorry. I, we're getting derailed right now by Malnding. <laughs> Oh, friend, we've been living for 16 hours without food at home. We normally go to the... What the hell is going... Please, more. Time out. I need more. Time out. I don't know coming. what's going on with that, but it's incredible. Time out is coming for a moment. <laughs> uh, ice Ice Baby. That was a... That would work in 1996. No, don't say it, Jessica. You don't say it. Jessica, I thought we were friends. I thought I had respect for you. And here you go. You know, that, that account is really that. weird because when I when I hover hover over everybody's name, I get those three dots that I can put them in timeout. And then that one, I can't. What, mounding? Yeah. Don't put them in timeout. I want to hear every <laughs> word he's got to say. You put that thing in timeout, my night's over. <laughs> He's uh, hungry. Shoot to Thrill. Is that ACDC? That's a fucking terrible song by a terrible band. ACDC sucks, by the way. The most overrated band in the history of rock and roll. Go ahead. Kill me. They suck. Argue it. I'll argue with you. Go ahead. I don't hey, think there's not- anything wrong with that song. I'm not talking about shoot the thrill in particular. I'm talking about ACDC. No, I was talking about come on, Eileen. I I like I like little eighties. Come on, Eileen. Sexy's Midnight Runners, baby. That's better. Exactly. That's a one hit. That's better than ACDC, without question. (laughs) Stop like kisses by Cactus. Wow, Alex. Now you're really showing your true colors here. We're putting Alex in timeout. (laughs) What is uh? What is uh? God, what's his name? Malnding's favorite song <laughs> guilty guilt yes here we go this is, my brothers i really need help please send money chats i don't even see these chats he's a i mean please help this guy guys i can't oh, even see are, his messages you can't I'm, I'm sharing it hands across america for mounding but it, it's like I told you, Ombre. It's really weird because in in the master chat that we've got here in Streamyard, can you guys see that? It doesn't have the three dots. But when I go, I've got the YouTube open so I can respond to people with my own name, and those aren't showing up. Yeah, that's well, what I'm saying. It's not in YouTube. Yeah, they're not well, showing I'm up. Mounding to know that I'm I want people to help his family. It's really weird. It seems very legitimate. 
Ok, Manding, vous êtes en Haïti? Wow, look out. Gambia. Oh. And, and it's just like, I'm, I'm looking, that, that one that we can see right there, Umbre, in the master, we cannot see in the, in the regular YouTube. It's unfortunate, too, because mounting seems like a real straight up, you know, nobody's known in West Africa for scams on the internet. No. <laughs> There's never been any uh, precipice for being worried about that. <laughs> So, Mounding, we're on your team here. Uh, support, please. Like and follow, Mounding, please. Yeah, thank you, Todd. <laughs> Hit like that subscribe. Follow, subscribe to the channel. We can tell you're a big fan, <laughs> big horse racing guy. These are the things I love, though. Like, normally you would just block them and move on, but this is what I, I want to dwell on it as long as I can. It's really weird, though. I'm serious. Really? I'm, I'm freaked out. It seems by the like way a good up. person. It seems like a good yeah, person to me. Absolutely. That's you know? it. We'll keep, believe me, we'll share it. If he, uh, Mounding, keep on uh, commenting. We'll keep sharing. Who does Mounding like in race eight? <laughs> baby, this is, baby, we have reached, uh, at, this is, I think we're, Tim, can I say it? We've reached a new moment for the lounge. Like we've had, there's been legends in the past. Is Mounding becoming one of these? It, it, it is quite possible. I mean, if it continues at all, we're getting there. We're getting there, and if if we get one one or two more, I mean, this is just things that dreams are made of. Yeah, we got to keep form relations going. You're right, Grandma. Thank you. Thank you for the support. I used to hate the song Don't Stop. Are we talking about Don't Stop Believing? Like by, uh, what's it called? Journey? Oh, here he... See here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mounding. Who do you like in race eight? Race seven, rather. Race eight. We're talking Turfway Park. Mounding. Tell us who you got in the trifecta. What are you doing? Are you boxing? Are you peeing? <laughs> who do you like? <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> I mean, this is. Put your email address in the chat so we can get a hold of you. We want to have you. Maybe you can come on the show next week. Yeah. Could, could we get that, uh, that bank account information so we could go ahead and send <laughs> you some money for food? Yeah. <laughs> Go get your social security number and uh, a routing number to your fucking checking <laughs> account. Mounding. It's been a pleasure, though. Uh, okay. All right. Yes. This, Tim? Tim's the cleanup guy? It is my cleanup. race. Okay. Let me, let me hear it. Seven. Let me hear it. I like the seven. Mounding, please uh, pr put your email address out here. People will start donating. Uh, you know, put your cash app, PayPal, Venmo, anything we can do to help. Mounding is going to be at Keeneland, by the way. <laughs> wow, I, why am I having so much fun with that? That's incredible. <laughs> it's it's wow. All right. Sorry. Uh, so I heard Carson go one horse deep there. We have 19 bucks. She gave me one horse. That's it, Carson. Just bucks. seven. All right. I'd go straight up seven, 11, one, four. Are you doing super? I'm just, that's just what my okay. choice. Yeah. I like the seven a lot. It's a huge drop in class. It has a lot of experience. What are we doing? What are these all six furlong races now? It's the last race. Right. This is well, it. I know. The last two were six also. I was just wondering if Turfway right. was just gonna do eight six furlong races from now. Most, until of, it most of them have been six tonight. There were a couple miles. <laughs> 
Actually, there was one mile. Everything else has been six. Okay. Oh. Wow, I'm just going to say it. This is the least enthusiastic cocktail lounge in the history. I apologize <laughs> to all the uh, viewers tonight. Well, Sean isn't here. He's not feeling well. I'm sick. I have had a <laughs> bad week. About. We've all had a bad week. Yes. So no excuses. I'm it has exhausted. nothing to do with us <laughs> losing. But it is really bad. So thank you again to uh, Mounding for coming in and raising the... <laughs> Raising the effort level because it's people like you who really, you know, connect with us and we want to try harder. No, no, it's not. Cheers to Melding. <laughs> Is that Melding's uh, vocals coming through on the microphone? What are we doing? Yeah, I was trying to listen to what Caitlin was saying. Oh, Sorry. Carson, you don't like the twelve at all. You didn't mention the twelve. This is two to one. <laughs> so, so you're just in a quarter horse race. That so you're just fading the Gulf twelve. Stream. I can respect ran, that. Yeah, it ran a quarter horse race at Gulfstream. That's. I don't know. It's it's Wesley Ward and Walter Rod. I don't has he won a race this meet? No. Who Ward? Oh. Yeah, he's he's kind of actually uh, he started out really slow, but he's kind of picked it up. He's won seven now, so he, he's actually now he's seven for twenty nine with the bad start he had. So now he's like twenty four percent in one of the leading trainers. All right, cool. All right, we're gonna play it real quick before you guys make your final decision. Name that tune. I'm going to give you five seconds. And either the chat can win, Carson or Tim. I need the artist and the song title. Are you ready? The winner gets Mounding's website address. So stay tuned. www.worldremit.com. Thank you. And we will promote you forever. Ready? Here's the name of that tune. I know. Bring it. Uh, can I play? Yeah, you I know it. it. Oh, isn't it Mandolin Rain? Bruce, Bruce, Hornsby. Bruce Hornsby. Okay, Mandolin. that was too easy. That was too easy. Too easy. That was easy. All right. Let me let me pull a little. Let me go a little deeper into the. Uh, it's so bad. What are we doing? <laughs> Derailed. I'm not going to talk about race, uh, whatever, eight for 73 minutes. Okay, ready? Okay. Song two, and we're going to, once it gets to 10 minutes to post, we'll get serious. 300 people on. Thanks, everybody. Name this song. I don't know how, oh, wait, Melding's replying. Get him his blessings. Yes, please, everybody. You ready? Oh, whoa, 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 sorry. Amateur hour. <laughs> this is from my straight out of Miami. <laughs> Somebody knows that in the chat. That's a popular song from yes. about 2012. This is Bad Bunny. <laughs> Come on, Colin. Um, Not I, I can't think of the yeah, name. Colin's on it. Colin's on it. King, King without a crown. Yes. <laughs> What'd you do? Google that shit? Dude, my hands were right here. Look at, go back and watch the video. All right. King without a crown by Modest Yahoo. Colin was on it with Mogadishu. <laughs> Modest Yahoo, close enough. It's not Amish, by the way. It's Hasidic Jew. <laughs> really, Colin hates Jewish people. So all Jewish people know it, that Colin on our channel hates Jewish people. Oh, my God. Much Could like you Adolf Hitler. Stop it. I didn't do anything wrong. Carson, we're going I'm to hell. I'm support of the Hasidic Jewish people. Mang Dang, or whatever his name was, likes, likes Amish people, too. Malin Dang. That was kind of off the beaten path, Colin. I'm proud of you, bro. 
You guys want one more song before we go? No. Oh, dude. I'm trying to handicap here. I'm trying to I'm trying to bring us home, damn it. We're doing one more. It's been really fine, but for us, faith without cease every start with sadness. I'm sorry, Mounding. I'm very sorry. I hope things get better for you. Name this song $100 prize. Never come to. Wow. You got me on that one. Song title? Uh, I got nothing. Hell of a pull, Carson. Proud of you on that one. I only know that because it tapped into my French brain earlier, thinking Maldings was in Haiti. Um Raccoon Toad, does that mean Heckler? Like a peanut gallery yeah. reference? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Broken Boy Soldier. Yeah, I would never get that. Rockin' Tours, Jack White, baby. White Stripes, Detroit. Representing. I gave out the $100 trivia song. I owe Carson $100, apparently. But she didn't have the song title, and uh, it wasn't White Stripes, so it was Rockin' Tours. Rockin' Tours, I always say that. Guys, please donate to Mounding. His family needs help. Mounding, please tell us how to donate. We will, uh, for sure, we will for sure uh, send you plenty of money. How do you want it? PayPal, what do you want? Uh, Your wish is our command, Mounding. Tim is studying. I mean, you you have to win now with this much work. I got this shit. I've never worked this hard in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for hanging in. We got 300 people in. And by the way, in recent, the last couple weeks, there are more people on Twitter, the Twitter stream, than uh, YouTube. Is this a change in the culture of what people are using to stream? I think so. It's it's pretty wild because it was never like this before. Like two-thirds of the people viewing this are not on YouTube. It's wild. MKT likes a 7 and 12. And the win on the 7, who is currently 7 to 1. World War. Oh, dude, I can't with Mounding anymore. <laughs> Mounding, can you please uh, contact us? Trust the profits at gmail.com. And we will uh, be sure to support you. Send your out a little care package. Yeah, absolutely. Care package. Uh, we know you're big horse racing fans over there. <laughs> Part of the culture. For the, for yes, the children. Colin, thank you. That's a great point. For the children. Mounding. Contact Dennis Trusty at underscore whatever on Twitter. And uh, get that 20% rebate. And uh, Dennis will donate to you. Thank you, Colin. That's a great point. Well played. What an unbelievable, like, blessing it's been to have Melding on tonight. Melding, if you'd like a link, we'd get you on here live. It'd be incredible. There's no way, dude. Like, I would pay so much money to see what's behind the Melding name. I'm I'm still freaked out by what they're doing because I don't understand how we can see them in our chat, but they're not coming through on YouTube. 
Oh, I just please please contact trust the prophets at gmail.com or uh however you want, but and we're right, we're we're here for you. Please help me, please. Yes, please. Here, please. He's making he's really crying now. The crying emojis, please. If there's anything you guys can do to help Melding. Oh, I got something I can do to help him out. <laughs> oh. And for the record, Melding, we all believe in you 100%. Nobody doubts you. Totally legit. You're a friend. You're a friend to us now. <laughs> One of the, uh, you know, just supporters of the channel, huge horse racing guy. Africa loves Turfway. That's right. We're bringing two worlds together. Two worlds colliding tonight. Mounding, bringing the people to Turfway. Listen, folks, if you're a horse racing fan, when the rubber meets the road, it's guys like Mounding that are bringing this thing together. You know? Look at Tim can't even chuckle. He's so serious about this race. Dude, I want to finish it out. Let's Wait. go. Let's go. $19 to make something happen. Mounding, who do you like? We didn't ask Mounding directly. If you put a number in Mounding, I swear to God, I'll bet it all in on whatever Mounding says. Five minutes to post. Mounding, who do you like? <laughs> Look at grandma's post. That's funny. <laughs> True story. <laughs> True story. Huh. What a ride we've been on tonight. It's been kind of a rocky road. Everybody's kind of under the weather, not feeling great, not having the best of weeks. Mounding comes in and kind of... Uh, circles the wagons there he is oh he's got his whatsapp number now mounding who do you like in race eight if you can just put give us a winner and we'll send some money your yeah, way give us give us a winner and if if, the, if your horse wins i swear to god i'll send money to you <laughs> it'll feed your family for two months put the goddamn number in mounding Pick one number. Just put one number in there. Nobody wants anything. A win bet. I don't care. One through what? 13. <laughs> Can you imagine if he's like, puts like a two, four, six exact box or some <laughs> shit? <in exactly. laughs> oh, this is incredible. <laughs> like he's got real strategy. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think he's got a bet, so we might have to resort to Tim. Um, Umbre, did you have, did you give me picks in here? No, but let me throw it in here. And Carson only gave you the seven, right? No, that's not No, true. she told me others. Okay, sorry. I'm not paying much attention. My my head's not in the game tonight. I, I apologize. Thursday night, Raymond, Thursday night, yeah, Raymond, and be with the pygmies down there in Africa. Oh, here we go. So, you know, I just want to bet from mounting. I like the 12, uh, 12, 7, 2. That's it. I'm not going to say anything else because it's three minutes to post and I don't have huge opinions. I'm going to slack her, to be honest tonight other things going on so thank god melding's been here to melding put a goddamn number in the chat so we know what to bet i don't care about your tears for your stupid family and everything else if you have a heart in your body put a number in for your next ai generated chat you piece of shit why? I'm Shut arguing up. with an AI bot right now. Let me Just, go. It's fun. It's 
Stop. If you imagine if he comes back with a uh, a bet, that would be the greatest moment of my life. The poor guy needs help. <laughs> All right, Tim, what are we doing? In the get out race at Turfway Park on Thursday, Flip it. the 14th of March, 2024. Wow. Riders Jeez. up Tim selects a $9 exact a box for 12. $9 We're going exact straight. We're going straight. $9 okay. exact a box for 12. Did I fucking stutter? Pro. Did Melding <laughs> stutter? <laughs> this is my oh he's putting numbers out seven that's his uh whatsapp number <laughs> mounding we're looking for you're on a horse racing channel bud do you like horse racing I'm gonna, tell you. I'm, I'm gonna make it for my own personal account. I'm gonna make it a nice even ten dollar exacta box, and I'm betting the same friggin' thing. I'm betting a four twelve. We're gonna Not bring box, it home. You're going straight. You said no. I, I said box four twelve. Nine dollars box four twelve, which is eighteen okay. bucks, I'm and we sorry. have nineteen. I'm sorry. So they're at the gate right now. What about mounting? And, and right at the wire said he actually prefers being called the dinger. Yes. Thank you, Alex, for pointing that out because that is. That's key. You know, absolutely you, true. You want to address people how they want to be called. Yeah. And he, he deserves our respect. Nothing but respect for him. Nine fifty dollars and two eight nine. Okay. Block parties in the house. Welcome aboard. And listen, guys, the community in the lounge keeps on growing. And Tim's looking to hit a home run here. I am. Let's get out of here with the get out race with a win. It's been a long week. Everybody's tired. Mounding's here. You know, people are really pumped up for this West African contingent coming into the show now. Well, Gizmo, we, if you've got the 8 and 12 for the double, then let's get the 12. Let's get that with our fur four, and then we both win. Mounding, if you can put just a single number, type the number five as your next chat. Just five, enter. I'll give you $100 in cash. All right. We're Let's loading up. Race eight. We just We're have like up. one more to go. We're all in yeah. on what 11. Team? Lou on one out of the gate. Let's see if he goes out. Here we go. Pretty even start up front, but the 12 is going to, from the outside position, take the early lead. Then you've got a couple of horses across the track with the one coming up the inside rail to challenge the 12 for first. Down on the inside, it's got the two glossy life. Just outside that one is the 10 frolicking lady. Behind those, you've got the 8, 3, 7, 9, 4, and way back to the 11 who trails the field up front. It's still a trio of horses across the track, but the one on the inside, do you realize that 25 to one has about a one length lead over the 12 quiver of fear. Who's in great position right now. That's our horse. That's one of them. You got the eight coming up inside those who starting to make a run and our 12 is starting to fade. And unfortunately the one up front is just pulling away a little bit. The eight, it looks like the only one at this point who might challenge the one. Speed's really holding in these races all of a sudden. Here comes the eight, starting to come outside the one. The one is still Look holding at this point. It's going to be one and eight, eight and one. On the way outside, here comes Luan with a run on the 11. Luan's coming to get him. Luan's coming to get him. Yep. One said 11, one. 11, one. 111 or 11, one. I think it was 111. I think Luan was late. By the way, Mounding put a five in there. I told him to put a five in there. <laughs> That's incredible. We now know there's a human being behind that. So now that they put the five, ask them how the hell they're in our chat and they're not showing up on YouTube. 
That just tells me they're like hacking StreamYard or something. I'm just glad he's a fan. Groundhog, let's see. Let's go back. Groundhog is celebrating. He does not like mounding. I'm going back. I was so involved with mounding that I did not catch Groundhog's bet here. Eleven all. It was Hell, definitely yeah. the eleven. Eleven one, eleven one eight four. Catch, baby. Six to one over a twenty-five to one piece. Congratulations, Groundhog. That's a nice, nice pull. You love to see it. Love to see it. We got skunk tonight, folks. We did. Even Carson couldn't save us tonight. Did not cash a ticket. And in that last race, you had two first time starters out of four in the race come first second. That just tells you how shit the horses were. Mounding, uh, put your uh, PayPal or or Venmo out there. I'll, I'll send you 100. <laughs> I said I would do it. But I'd also like to really uh, reach out to the community here and get everybody on board for supporting Mounding. I love it, dude. We have, I think we have 26K in the pick six. Who's playing pick sixes at Turfway? I can't yeah, even I, pick two. I think in our bankroll, we actually have $1 left. Let's send that to Mounding. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Mounding, if you if you would like to share pictures of your family and, you know, your community. What do you say he was starving and everything else? I'm sorry. You that know? was an ugly night of racing, folks. I was tired coming in. No excuses. I mean, it is what it is. No. But. You know what? Carson's last... apologizing. She doesn't need to apologize. Rebound next week. That's right. I think exactly. we'll be in a better place. Everybody, it's it. It really did seem like everybody was having a bad week across the board. So, it it really has been a, a, a tr trying week for everyone. Yeah. So yeah, <clears throat> we'll be back. I didn't do a deep deep dive enough, so I feel uh, you know, whatever. The dinger was here though. He raised the roof here. He couldn't give me his PayPal account, though, or else I was going to send him a million dollars in cash. <laughs> you know, but Tim, anything to close it out? Or are we just going to bed? I think I'm ready for bed. I'm tired. Brothers and sisters, thank you guys so much for joining. We had a couple hundred, 300 people on the whole time. And I don't know why this big surge of uh, Twitter things coming through bigger than the YouTube thing, but we're learning, you know, people are adjusting. It. Thank you guys so much. I uh, sincerely appreciate it outside of all the sarcasm and the mang ding or whatever his name is chat. But yeah, we lost, had a bad night, but we, we lost money, but it's always fun. Please help one last. He chimes in one last time and I'm not going to let that go. Help him. Ladies and gentlemen, if there's anything you can do, help him. Tim, peace out. Everybody enjoy their night. Enjoy, enjoy the weekend. Have a good weekend. And um, we'll see you next week.